Rockets, a Chevrolet, entertainment, summertime fun. Welcome to the Petros and Money Virtual Chevy Summer Tour. Brought to you by Chevy. Find new roads. Here is Petros Papadakis and Matt Money Smith. I just want to say, yeah, while you find the gong, I just want to say, you know, we all just put these tank tops on, and I think, I mean, I know Matt paddles like twice a day, so he's bound to be pretty swole and sinewy. Stop it. But I just think, I think that Matt just banged out like 100 push-ups, too, in the privacy of the officina, and then came out super sinewy. I was in my office. you are so sinewed like Sorbo <laughs> right now. I mean, look at those like sin- Sorbo at the Hooters. Look at how sinewed. And, I mean, he's like Mr. Olympia right now. Got to get to the YouTube. I just check out what Mr. Olympia looks like in a 153-pound package. I just can't believe. Yeah, oh, you're a bantamweight. I mean, there's no doubt about that. But the sinews are impressive. And I think there might have been some close-arm push-ups. We might have to do more just to really see how, how, you know, full, how uh, 
Just how for, see how far we can get those hornets, full, full those disclosure. hornets things to pop out on the back, Matt. Full uh, full disclosure, I brought the shake weight. Yeah, <laughs> I wish I would have brought the wife shake weight. Yeah. What are we on? What are we on? <laughs> <laughs> All right, start the show. We're on TV, oh. sort of. Linear cast. That summer feeling is going to haunt you one day in your life. Going out big Metro and Money, AM 570 LA Sports, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. And more importantly, right now on the fourth step of the Metro and Money Chevy Virtual Summer Tour, we are live on YouTube and we are live on Facebook. And I don't like these numbers. Is it okay, though? It's actually not bad. It's a, you know what it is? It's a, it's a rolling start. But it's all. You set up the, uh, the Indy Racing League. Well, it's not the Indy Car Rolling Start. So we got 175 already. Instead of lights out, it's a rolling start, and I love it. You know, Matt, 176. We just got one more. It is too early to incorporate this indie stuff. I mean, we barely are grasping F1, and you're really, I mean, it's just got to spread. I know. It's too much. You know what? I, it's too much. And now you're referencing I told you what it is. I told you what it is. It's the fact that. That you're Midwestern. F1, no, F1 is now becoming what EPL became when ESPN got their mitts into it, and everybody's talking about it, and the pardon my take guys are getting freaking Ricardo and doing all this, and it's driving me crazy. Letterman got Dario Franchitti years ago, and that never bothered you? No. Love Franchitti. Love Erickson. Love them all. We're happy to be with you. It is a PMS Chevy summer tour event virtually on AM570 LA Sports on the iHeartRadio app, which is where you normally listen to the show. But today there is a component that involves your viewership, which we appreciate, a visual component on YouTube and Facebook. And that's how you win, Matt. That is exactly how you win. And we've got quite a few prizes today. We have got uh, a delicious radio station cornucopia of prizes. We have a lot going on. We have Magic Mountain tickets. We have fight tickets. We've got Dodger tickets. What else we got, Cates? We got Clipper playoff tickets. We got Clipper playoff tickets. So we got a Burke Williams Day Spa gift card. Multiple. Multiple, but there is only one way to win. And, and that tickets is, to the fights that uh, De La Hoya is promoting. He's going to be joining us in the very next segment. We saw him walking around a little bit earlier. He's in the house. De La Hoya going to be in this studio, and you're going to see him with your own two live interview. Where are we going to sit him, wacko? Right here? Right there? Right next to the old pier? Oh, I like it. All right. I better get La Jolla, see if he'll join us in our tank top -edness. What do you think? We can ask. It's got a tag on it, like, hey. I mean, in? I think when he sees you, he's going to be like, Shh. like, hey, what Floyd, is this? Floyd, turn me down. You want to fight? No. No, I don't. Like, who is that guy? <laughs> Most definitely don't Who is fight. that swole daddy? <laughs> My God. All right, let's do this. Uh, let's call this. Well, first, let's set it up with the fact that you need to just click on it, right? It's on there on the We're YouTube. rolling. It's 237 now. We're going. Uh, you we need to going. just click on the AM570 and the Chevy yes. to sign up to win the brand new Chevy. We're going to give away a Chevy at the end of the summer. This is our last fully virtual stop if everything goes well. When July hits, we are going to hit a bar, and we're trying to figure out where. This is our last virtual tour stop, and a lot of people love these virtual tour stops really for one reason. Matt's Magic Hot Dog Box, which is here and ready to go. It's steaming. And we are going to... It may have oversteamed a little bit. It's steaming like Willie Beeman. Now, you tell me. Are you saying you went a little too early, Matt? Well, you tell me. You jumped the gun a little early? I brought in the Oscar Myers, right? Kate's was kind enough to go to the gross. Oh, what we know about Tim Cates, right? He is a... Would you care to open the drawer and thrift, take a guess? He's thrifty. Well, no. I'm just saying when it comes to a, um, to a wiener, mm -hmm. if you'd like to open that drawer, oh, no. would you care to take a guess of which one of the hot dogs were Tim Cates and which were the ones that I brought? <laughs> Well, some any? of those dogs are pristine and straight, and, and the others. <laughs> some of those dogs are deformed and mutated, <laughs> completely crooked. I know. Now we're going to need a photo of that. We are going to need a photo of that. It's going to have to go up on at Petros and Money. I'm Mine are the feeding. straight ones in there. No, those are the Oscar. Those are the uh, the Oscar Mine. Um, I'm trying to gaslight. Are you trying to put so gaslight now? 
Are you trying to put up gaslight? I actually spent money on good ballpark fresh. You did. All the Michael Jordans. And all I'm saying is, Kate, there's there's some dogs that were able to stay normal and straight, and then there's others that aren't. That's all I'm saying. I mean, your dog's a little kind of muscly. Right? Kate's <laughs> <laughs> look kind of crooked. It is stop number four of the PMS Virtual Chevy Summer Tour. We'll talk about our theme, and then we'll bring in Oscar De La Hoya at the beginning of this hour. You can watch us on YouTube or Facebook. There will be eight tour stop finalists plus four online finalists, 12 finalists to win the Chevy Silverado. If your name hasn't been chosen yet, you can keep signing up. Brought to you by the Chevy Silverado, the number one selling full-size pickup in California. And Sweet James, if you've been injured, call Sweet James at 800-500-5200. He'll join us. I'm sure he's in a happy mood. Uh, 445. Sweet James will join us via Zoom. Not in studio. Oscar De La Hoya in studio next segment. Sweet James via Zoom, but there will be that visual component. And a f- familiar name and a new name, Matt, in our sponsorship lineup here. Very excited about Chef Merito because we are your official seasoning show of record, and they are the official seasoning of the Petros and Money show. And as Pete takes his first sip of a deliciously cold Kieran Ichiban. First pass, 100% malt. Thank you, Kieran Beer. Japan's prime beer. Explore enjoyment. So thank you to Kirin Beer for joining us. I believe they will be with us for the remainder of our Petros and Money Chevy Summer Tour. Dave Weiss entering the uh, the area. Come on, Weiss, show your face. It's Army Promotions guy. Dave, Dave Weiss. Uh, and uh, also Matt is here. Social Matt, not Matt Money Smith, the voice of the Bolts. is swole as hell. Wacko is in the Wacko. house. Our, uh, one of our production men from the FM area, Ronnie Fascio, all tanked up. We'll see and hear from him. Tanking. For the song of the day. Tim Cates is all tanked. Tanking. Looks like he's at Carpinteria. Right? Get in here, Cates. Show off that body. Today is the PMS final final. Lord help nice. us. Virtual Chevy Summer Tour. Please sign up to win the truck. If you're entertained, just click the link. <laughs> and do it, Doug. Now, our theme is muddled. It really became a Pudo tank top theme because, as you know, summer is the hottest of the four temperate seasons, Matt. The days are long and the nights are short. That's true. And long before the Druids and the Maypole, and we are without a doubt your Druids and Maypole show of record. No question about it. Are are we going to have a Maypole? Are we going to have Druids at our first actual summer tour stop? I hope so. Are we going to a Ren Fair? And a Wicker Man? Oh, God. Long before Druids, Maypole, and the Wicker Man, and sexual freedom of the harvest, humans have celebrated the summer. And the way cultures celebrate the summer varies. You think about it here, we got uh, 4th of July. Everybody just uh, recently celebrated Juneteenth. You got uh, Canada Day, July 1st. Right. Uh, Bastille Day in uh, France. Let's go, July 14th. 14th of July. There you May go, we. man. Uh, Independence in India. Everybody knows that's the 15th of August. Unless you're Pakistani. Well, then it's the four- 15th of never. 14th of August. <laughs> it's just really come back to back at that part of the world. Summer is a time for celebration all over the world is what I'm saying. And last year, our leaders celebrated the summer by jet skiing up to surfers and giving them tickets. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> We do. Oh, yeah. Surf guitar show a record. This year promises, though, to be much better. And we are thrilled that circumstances have led us, Matt, to this moment. Now, promotions man Dave Weiss, who's standing right there. Hey, and our sound's good. Yeah, we sound We got it right now. Everybody shut up. The comments said, yeah, sound scrub. Woo! Yeah. Sound scrub. Woo! We were told by Dave Weiss that it was going to be an all-American theme. On June 23rd, a Wednesday. Right. July 4th is a week a and a let, half away. A Let Freedom Ring theme. With us in American flag tank top. Right. And I think there's at least one all-American promotional theme tweet out there. And we have one piece of bunting. Two. Two pieces of bunting. But Mark pushed back hard. I did. On the all-American theme as he rejects American ideals. <laughs> Uh, Mark's a socialist. <laughs> <laughs> but Matt gave it's me a bad a, timing. Matt gave me this tank top for my birthday. This one I'm wearing right now, this man bra. Because my wife had taken it upon herself 
My know, wife! She had the audacity to throw my tank tops out. My wife! But Matt gave me this rip curl man bra tank that I'm wearing right now, and that started the ball rolling. I have since hit up E.T. Surf. Matt's been to Caton, and we have a lot left in our tank, if you know what ah! I mean. Uh, yeah! Hold on, dog. And we are grateful, and I am still aggregating Textoso tank photos from our listeners sent to the Secret Textoso line brought to you by uh, Chevrolet. The Secret Textoso line. Sold out to Chevy. I have taken some liberties, though, and added a few non listener submissions, like. Uh, uh, Alex Caruso with a 420 jersey. Uh, I mean, it's topical. Kevin, Timely. Kevin Sorbo. Right. Shirtless. Shirtless. Doesn't need a tank. Show Lo us those nipples. Lorenzo Lamas and a Macho Man Randy's hat. Oh, yeah. And a lot of listeners that sent photos of themselves in tanks. Was that one photo of beer mug? It might have been. Whoever sent them, I just aggregated. I don't have beer mug's number saved. Right. But it could have been him. Look like him. Only Dave the King of Mexico is in my phone. Send it in, Dave. But oh, you can, I was sleeping. There is a uh, three uh, PMS tank top Twitter walls so far. I think at Petrus and Money on Twitter, you can look at them. Send us a selfie. Send us a selfie. I'll put it on the wall. <laughs> These are virtual walls, <laughs> yes. Matt. Our walls are always virtual. Whatever <laughs> happened to the uh, the wall? I think it's still up in his house, even though Fred's back in the studio. I think he still has the selfie wall up there, right in his living room. And you know, I want to remind you. I mean, girls can wear tank tops too. Remember, it's not just for the fellas. Right? Right? I mean, I know wackos from the FM, and it's mostly, you know. Wacko. They got a lot of ladies listening. Whammy! Wacko. That's a, that is wacko, by the way, Sam, asking. Who is the vato on my screen? Wacko. Vato loco. Yeah. That is, that is, that is wacko. <laughs> uh, we have a mixed history with this theme, uh, this pool party theme, so to speak, Matt. Uh, the very first PMS pool party was one of the most Great wildly success. successful shows we have ever put on live at the now reopened San Pedro Elks Club shortly after it was burned down. In the conversation is the greatest summer tour stop. Jeannie Bus came. My tattoo artist Tom's rock band played. Live music. Oh. They had a burned down building as a backdrop along with a fully open and functional pool. And a bar going and bar. barbecues. And all of San Pedro came out, even if they didn't know the Petros and Money show. It became a true event. And we followed that up one year later. With, well, a horrible pool party. The worst pool party. Well, since the, everybody thought there was a turd in the Caddyshack movie in the pool. It was a terrible pool party. Yes. Uh, the my, guests did not want us there. No one wa Well, it was one They had man, access to the pool. The assassin from Scarface. Yes. The actual actor. The, uh, the bell ringer from Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad guy. Yeah. Was very upset that we were there. And found it to be really a hindrance to his good mean time. mugging us hard. And uh, the turnout was not what we wanted because who wants to go to the Valley for a pool party? Much rather go to Pedro. And Fred Dreyer tried to carry us. My daughter was born the night before. My wife was livid. My what? wife! And then the people that won the Chevrolet that week, that very day. Are still dear friends of ours. Now, and we appreciate that. Now estranged from the show. Yeah. Every now and then she'll said something in. Got a long, like, four-page handwritten letter. I did not read it. No. But can't. I got it. You can't. And this, I guess, is our third pool party ever, Tim. Have we ever had? We haven't had another pool party. <laughs> right? And we yeah. don't have a pool. We don't have anything. Yeah, we haven't have had one since the Sportsman's Lodge. We just all have about. tank yeah. tops, and we're just marveling. It's like a pool. And how swole Matt is. We got pool noodles. We got a, a lifeguard ring. We got some uh, fancy pineapple uh, flowery drinks that are curing Ichiban, and we got hot dogs and onions and mustard. Well, today is virtual, and if you haven't already, get on YouTube and Facebook to watch and win and <laughs> bask in the glory of our tanks. Hell, I can remember the first time I ever wore a tank to Great Sports Talk. Green tank top, on the sand, Huntington Beach, beach volleyball event. That's about 265 pounds. Look good in that tank. 25 heavier than I am now. Outside blocker. There I come. Cover a lot of ground. <laughs> and now that Matt has replenished my stash, I am grateful. And we are up and running and ready. 
and the Golden Boy is here. And yeah. you got to stay tuned during the break because we're going to give something away. Let's see whether or not the Golden Boy will put on our brand new. And by the way, if he takes the tank, I'll get you a new one at Kate. And I'll bring it tomorrow. What I'm just you, saying, like, you we mean? give it to him and then he wait doesn't minute, take it off and leaves with it. You're going to offer Oscar De La Hoya my tank top? Well, it's the one that has the price tag on it and looks brand new. So it's like, hey, Oscar, do you want to put a tank on well, it? Wait, what about one for me? Well, this is yours. I didn't think about buying one No, it's one not mine. Oscar. It's going to be Oscar. Well, that's what I'm saying. Should I do it or no? I bought you two yesterday. Do you want me to offer him and a And you tank brought top? me one and you're giving it to De La Hoya? I don't know. Typical. <laughs> should I offer it to De La Hoya? Typical. Should I? Of course you should. He's our guest. All right. We'll see whether or not. Get on YouTube. Get on Facebook Live now. Will De La Hoya wear the tank? Will he take his shirt off and put on the tank? He might have like a businessman shirt. We will tell him, businessman special not allowed. Yeah, you are not allowed. Oh, he's allowed. got a polo? He's got a beautiful Travis Matthew polo on. Oh, he does? So we'll we'll get clearance from Travis Matthew. Hey, is it cool if he takes off They're the Travis of Matthew ours. polo? They're friends of ours. And put the, we're not going to let Oscar's him. Oscar's got two things to promote. He's fighting uh, one of the dudes, uh, one Vitor of the MMA types. Yeah. yeah, Vitor. And he's got a big uh, event coming up at, at uh, the uh, Bank of uh, California. Exactly. The, uh, the LAFC spot. Right. We got all that coming up. Then and he wants to fight Floyd Mayweather. And then he's going to fight Orko from He-Man. That'd be unreal. Orko's tough. He-Man's coming back. Orko, this is the year. Orko has no face. I would take man at arms. Punch somebody with no face. That'd be my guy, I think, of all the He-Man characters. No, Ram Man. Squat and strong. What about He-Man? He's got that soft side. He's Prince Adam, you know? your ass. <laughs> we'll be back. Oscar De La Hoya, but stay. Don't go anywhere. Get on YouTube and Facebook right now. We're giving away our first prize. Dodger tickets given away in this commercial break if you go to YouTube or Facebook. He meant kick your punk bitch ass. AM 570 LA Sports Channel. Log on right now and enter to win the brand new Chevy Silverado. Am570lasports.com slash Chevy or just click and you could be the next big winner. We've given away eight trucks. Eight. Are we on with the thing? Because we got hot dogs. You want one? Yeah, sorry. You want this hot is on uh, YouTube, Oscar. Oh, yeah. We're live on YouTube right now Let during the uh, the commercial breaks. I'm back for you and my essential oils. So, uh, Oscar's here. If you're watching on YouTube, he's here right now. He's yeah. hanging out. Oscar's here, and he's not wearing a polo. He's wearing a T-shirt. He's wearing a T-shirt. Yeah, uh, you can right now. He's here. No, right not, now. not when we get on air. No one really Yeah, cares. I guess that'd be the trick. You can do it now, but you can't do it on air. Exactly. But you know what? It'd be pretty sweet for all these people watching on YouTube right now to hear you cuss. But if you can name Oscar's hometown. Uh, right now, 800-866-9872-570, uh, if you can name the Golden Boy, one of L.A.'s favorite sons, hometown, uh, we will send you, what are we sending? Dodger, Dodger tickets? tickets? Dodger tickets. Dodger Stay tickets. Down, That's right. Hey, name, be comfortable. Name, name yeah. where I'm from, and I'll give you a fucking two tickets yeah! for the next fight. Yeah! <laughs> Listen to that. Who's on YouTube? Yeah! 866-987-2570. Double prize. Boxing tickets. To Zuro Ramirez and Sullivan Barrera and Dodger tickets. How about that? 866-987-2570 and an F-bomb. That's what's happening on YouTube. That's why you tune in. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tune in now. Yeah, we're going to see uh, the golden boy. Many times he's been on the show. In yes. person a few times, too. Did a locker room uh, with him. But never visually in this kind of way. And he already brought his own camera, which is about $200,000 more expensive than all of the cameras <laughs> we have in here combined. That's the best. All our people are holding up phones. Right. A bunch of wankers and clowns. And Oscar comes in with freaking uh, Stanley Kubrick over here and setting up the shot. That's a beautiful thing. You love to see it. Indeed. Yeah. Does he have a grip? Is there a grip? Uh, I don't see any grips. No, grip? but we already have our own lighting <laughs> department. Uh, that's what a grip is. I don't know if there's a best boy back there or anything like that. But these people truly understand production. Well, make sure uh, you stick around during all the commercial breaks. Remember, when we go to commercial on the radio, we stay here on YouTube, and that's where you get to win all the prizes. We still have Clipper playoff tickets to give away. We've got, uh, what do we got? 
Oh, Burke Williams gift card to give away. We've got the Magic Mountain tickets and Dodger tickets. Uh, a whole bunch of prizes every single commercial break. And that's going to give away the rest of the clothes he bought for me. Well, for I, the listeners. Be sure to stay because when we start the interview, uh, a challenge. Well, not a challenge. A request will be issued. And we'll see whether or not uh, we'll see whether or not that bait is taken. All right. This guy's got a train. Exactly. Can't eat your freaking dirty, salty dogs. <laughs> Coming up next, the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. He's going to do like a UFC fighting thing. My God. Not all personal injury law firms are the same. Experience counts. Results matter. If your case is important to you, call us now for a free consultation. Live from the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank, this is Petros and Money. Hey, it's David Vassay. Hope you're enjoying the Petros and Money Summer Tour. Coming up around the corner, we will have your Dodgers Insider Report from San Diego. Stay where you are. Dodgers baseball is on the air and on your phone. Stream all the games on the iHeartRadio app and get all our exclusive Dodger podcasts as well. Just listen to AM570 LA Sports every game all season long. America's fastest growing full line brand and people are taking it everywhere taking trailblazer outdoors confidently taking on new places with Equinox and taking on more with Silverado whatever you do there's a perfect Chevy to take you anywhere find your perfect Chevy and get 0% financing for 72 months on select popular Chevy SUVs or get 10% of MSRP cash back on most 2021 Equinox models Hey, it's David Vasse in San Diego at Petco Park where the Dodgers and Padres are getting set for game three of this exciting series. And the Dodgers will have Trevor Bauer on the mound tonight. More importantly, they will have Cody Bellinger activated for tonight's game. They got Muncie back last night. They get Bellinger back tonight. And Corey Seager is headed out on a minor league rehab assignment. So the Dodgers are getting healthy. We'll send it back right now to the Petro Semi. Money summer tour. Enjoy the beach party. It's all falling. Everything fell apart. Windmill, two surfboards, pool noodles. We look like idiots. A bunch of wankers and clowns. Yeah, a guy comes and balances all this stuff. And then the second we come on the you know air, Here's the one thing. of the great athletes in the history of the area and the states is here, Dave and we Gleason's look like fools. He's a saboteur. We're already in tank tops and, and freaking little boy shorts. I have I brought nine, so I was going to change and have one for each segment, but then I, I couldn't take my shirt off. You know, I was like, I feel like a fool. He's in training. I'm all skinny and 150 pounds and just bones and skin and... He uh, looks pretty swole, right? I mean, he's he's paddling. I mean, he's really getting after it. I can see a little vein popping up. Exactly. Yeah, That's see? all it is, though. There's no muscle. It's he's, just a vein. He's real <laughs> sinewy. I mean, just so sinewy. But, Matt, we do have a very special guest. If you can't see him, you, you should. should be on YouTube or Facebook right now because that's where you win the prizes. We just gave away Dodger tickets in the very last segment before all of our stuff fell down. But we have one and of our – And tickets. 
and fight tickets. Yes, Oscar, during our commercial break on YouTube, uh, shared with the folks yeah. that were watching, if you can name his hometown as you posed the question, you would not only get Dodger tickets, but tickets to the fight, the Golden Boy fight as well yeah. at Bank of California Stadium. Uh, and they did. Vince from Los Angeles. Oh, you got it? Yes, he knew Montebello. And nope, he won. that's not it. That's not it. Boyle Heights. Nope. <laughs> got it wrong. It? Everybody wait, knows. Wait, wait. Whoever gets it right, whoever goes on and gets it right now, everybody will get it. will get two tickets, and I'll take them inside the ring. Whoa! It's Norwalk. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar De La Hoya, ladies and gentlemen. No, seriously, he, he nobody got it. Nobody's got I it. I was yet. told. Really? I was told Montebello, and then I was told Boyle Heights. Nope. Neither. Oh crap! Let's go. We gotta. We have to scrub the internet. We need to find <laughs> out. Oh, this is this is quite the revelation. More importantly, we have a question. Would you join our tank top party? Come on, brother. All right. No. I'm not as good a shape as you are. All right. Uh, see, yeah. I told not you he was a shape. boxer. Not yet, brother. He's going to have a fight, and he's going to start training. But first, September. I'm getting shredded up right now. So <laughs> It's <laughs> happening. It's happening. The, the stand -up I just had three hot dogs. So just you know. Right? Nobody's had a hot dog yet. We, we, <laughs> we actually didn't want to touch them until you came in in case you wanted one, Oscar. And East, they're delicious hot dogs. East Los, of course. East Los. East Los Angeles. There you go. And you don't have to travel too far from East Los for this next event at the Bank of right. California Stadium. Congratulations, Friday. Jaime. He got it. Yeah, Jaime. Jaime. All right. Are you sure it's not Jamie? <laughs> uh, July 9th, it's going to be streamed live on DAZN, uh, yep. D-A-Z-N, if you guys don't know how to uh, pronounce it. So uh, you're able to promote an event again here right. in uh, California, which is great. And then you're going to have an event where you yep. fight. Vitor Belfort, who's huge, and the odds on that came out today. But we'll talk about bro, that. like literally, he's huge. Yeah, he's big guy. I, I didn't know. Foot, I didn't know what I got myself into. 90. man. It's all right. I can take a punch. Yeah, you can. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You Let's can. go. Let's go. You never turned down a fight. Let's go. Hell, Wish we had more boxers like you, Oscar. He's been yeah. on the show before too. Yeah, Vitor. Yes, and he thought he was kind of like a. It's an intimidating it, guy. He, is, he huh? sounds like a Vitor. Oscar is not let's a scare. Yeah, you know, go. there's no doubt about it. But I'm not. I'm not a scare. No, but before we get into the let's big go. fight uh, coming go. up for you that you're training for yeah. and that you've refused Matt's magic hot dog box right. over, and I, I and agree. The tank top. I think you've done the right thing, bro. That beer and that hot dog look enticing, right? Tell you. Come on, start yeah, training, I'm training tomorrow, brother. I'm in training. Training tomorrow. It's Can't a Wednesday. It. Right? Do it. Wednesday's the cheat day. We got onions. We got mustard. But you're you're a businessman first and foremost, and you know the when you've been coming on the show you know we've talked yeah. about your business ventures and the right. fights and the different guys that you're able to promote and uh better their at athletic experience so to speak yeah. uh so how gratifying is it to be able to have another event here in california uh, after bro, all this time I, I, this is home man this is home so um the fact that we're doing it at the uh the bank of california is is, is outdoors i mean summer july 9th oh it's gonna be Perfect. awesome and the fights we have this we have this girl fighting uh senisa she's also from east l.a she's a Two-time world champion, going for a third world title, fighting uh this 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 girl they call the tsunami from Japan. Oh my! <laughs> Damn! Imagine Tsunamis that. Tsunamis are hard to hold off. Hey. <laughs> Bunko Pupu, you, you gotta right. run. You can't take a tsunami. So yeah, you gotta then, run. then we have Jojo Diaz. He's from El Monte. He's fighting. He's you know ex world champion fighting for another world title. He's fighting this kid of uh, uh, Fortuna who who was supposed to fight Ryan Garcia, but he pulled out because he has the. Uh, his, the mental health issues. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this this Fortuna is a real deal. I mean, it's, it's going to be a good good card, solid. So um, is is all of the social media, YouTube, TikTokers, yeah. is this helping boxing, or, or do you feel like it's crossing over to legitimate boxing matches? People watching these social media stars fighting one another. I, I think I think it's helping the 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 audience grow. You know, I've 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 never had like in the last few years, like you know. The fans are, you know, my age, middle age, whatever. But now it's like lately, it's been like kids. Really? Yeah. Coming up. To, hey, my God, the champ, the golden boy. My God, we want to be like you. And it's like. Because of the YouTubers? Yeah. That's great for so the sport. So they're digging into boxing? Yeah. Because yeah, they watch the exactly. YouTube and then it, it takes and, 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 so, and they're doing the research on the champions and right. the current and the past. So it's like it's great for boxing. It, it's it's expanding the 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 audience, you know? It's if, pretty cool. If one person could understand anything about boxing, like it's really scary. Like you don't step into the ring with a real boxer 
unless you want to get hurt. Like, love, I, mean, I love the Crocs, by yeah. the way, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the hell are you wearing? We're a mess. Oscar, we're a complete mess. We've got hot dogs. We've got beer. Uh, tank tops. It's a disaster. We're in I our 40s. It. This is how we have to make a living. You know? uh, it looks like my bedroom, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you know, just, like, would you, you know, I mean, you don't step into the ring with somebody who's a YouTuber. I mean, or do right. you? Like, I mean, how, do, how does that translate for you as a boxer? I mean, you're fighting Vitor. Yeah. Vitor's a real fighter. Right. You guys figure out the rules yeah. and you fight. But when it comes to to what Floyd did and, and these Paul brothers, could you ever see yourself fighting one of these guys and having to hold them up after you hit no, them too hard? No, no, look, I mean, I think I think that was, I mean, that was a money grab, obviously. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, I mean, yeah, a lot of I, money grab. Yeah, it was a money grab. I mean, it, it did, it did what, like a million pay-per-view homes. It didn't do what it, they expected, but right. it did a million homes. Um, but it was just a money grab, you know. I mean, would I do it? No, I, I wouldn't fight a YouTuber. No, no disrespect, but I I think this Jake Paul is up to up to something. I think uh I think he has the the determination, you know, and and he has like he wants to do it for real, like he's serious about it. The the, the other guy, Paulo, uh, I don't think he has the skill. Uh, so you like think Paul's brother. got that? You think he's got the skill? I think he's Jake, got the potential. I, I Jake's think got the... Jake has the potential and the skill to 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 do something with the sport. So wow, and, and, and it's great because he's like he's a he's a big deal he on social audience, media. Right. He brings the audience. He brings a whole new generation of kids, the next wave. You right. Know? So it's cool. I'm all for it. Kind of where were you? Um, I guess let's just say like the last five years. Where were you with MMA and how you felt about it? I I, I wasn't for it. Okay. I wasn't for it. No. I wasn't Are you into it. it now? Yeah, I am actually. I yeah. respect it. Yeah, I respect it big time because um, I didn't I didn't I wasn't you know why I wasn't for the Mayweather uh, the Mayweather Connor, McGregor, McGregor fight you know why realistically because I wanted to fight him. <laughs> you know yeah you Seriously. wanted some of that I wanted some of that let's right. go so that that's that's the only real reason but um yeah I respect you got to respect anybody who gets inside the octagon or the ring it's 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 your life up there man it's crazy. <laughs> It's speaking of that, I mean, you're a promoter. I mean, you're promoting this fight against Vitor, yeah. and so it's it's Golden Boy. I mean, you're the right. businessman, and Triller, you're yeah. the business. Uh, Triller, yeah. Uh, so uh, when it comes to that, I mean, when you're negotiating your own fight, uh, not just two other guys that are going right. to fight, how different does that make it? Um, I mean, it it does it does. You want every advantage that you can, you know, have in the ring. Even outside the ring, I mean, you want to make the most money possible, whatever. We we're paying Vito. I mean, he's he's making more than he's ever made in the UFC. That's for sure, and that's one thing that you know the the beef that you know everybody has now. You know, is that these UFC fighters don't get paid right. as right. well because of Dana. You know, it's like you know. So all right, let let's pay them over here what they deserve. So um, a lot of fighters, a lot of UFC fighters are like starting to ask questions like, hey, we we should be getting paid a lot more money, right? And you should, right? Um, but yeah, it makes it it makes it, it it's a little tricky because I want all the advantage towards me, but it's like, hey, this is a fight, man. Let's just we're in the ring, we're gonna wear the same gloves, and we're gonna fight. He's gonna be heavier than me. Mm, that That's doesn't fine. seem fair. It's not fair, but it's I mean, all there's right. weight classes it's all for a reason, right? It, it, there's weight classes for a reason, but also the advantage I have is that I'm a boxer, right? You know. I'm so how boxer. much do gloves matter? Like when you decide Glo what gloves, gloves you're going to yeah, wear. Gloves, gloves matter a big deal. I mean. So was these, that a big negotiating point? These which gloves guys, you're going to wear? Uh, we're still going to negotiate it. But the, okay. the gloves are four ounces that they wear. <gasps> it's like freaking just wearing nothing basically, right. right? So we might do, I don't know, 10, 12 ounces. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Can you, um, when you're a fighter, you know, is it like riding a bike? Are you always a fighter? Yeah, man. Or I, yeah, so, so you can just get right back in uh, and you don't I, lose... All I got to do now is make sure I don't injure myself. I go in the ring injury free and then uh, um, and and just get in shape. Get so in, in terms shape. of speed and, oh, the, and hey, the that's speed. all there. Well, I had 14 years to rest my body. So <laughs> imagine, imagine <laughs> you that, feel better than ever. I feel better than ever, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. So why are you doing it? Um, After 14 boxing, years, boxing, um, boxing is my lifesaver, man. Yeah, big time. I love boxing. I love how long it. have you missed it? Like, how long have you been thinking about getting back in there? Uh, like, li like, li like, legitimately, the, like, hey, the I, next day I retired. Really? Yeah. It's crazy. You've been thinking about that next it's crazy, fight. bro. It's huh. crazy. I love it. Do you like being around the younger fighters? Um, yes and no, because, I mean, they think they know it all, uh -huh. you know, but, and then again, you can, like, teach them a thing or two, you know, so it's, 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 it's a little give and take here and there, and it's just, we got to understand, you know, it's like a whole different.
generation, different generation, different mind, you know, different thinking, you know, so. Do they have the same mindset you did? I mean, look, we're, you see us, we're old, we're beat to hell. And uh, a weight differential here. <laughs> I mean, we've survived this weight differential for years. Oh, you guys look good, man. Yeah, we've but, been uh, sparring all these with years. Them. 14 years. After all these hot dogs. Right? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> when, uh, when we were growing up, it wasn't that big of a deal for a guy to have six, eight losses on no. his record. They all fought each other. Yeah. They beat the hell out yeah, of each no, other. They it, were and great it, fights. It, it depends on who you fight. You right. know, it's like a lot of fighters like, you know, oh, I want to keep my my undefeated record intact. You know, it's that's like, what I mean. But it, but it's like it doesn't matter. Are the new ones like that or are they more yeah, like you the when you would are, take on anybody? No, the new ones are, are are like that. I mean, look, one thing about Floyd is that he 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 fought everybody and he stood undefeated, you know, and it's like and yeah, he might take a fight here and there and that he, he might win easy and it's not the biggest challenge. That's fine. He deserves it. Let him let him have that, you know, but. A lot of these young fighters are like, oh, I'm going to fight like just normal, regular, you know, Joe Schmoes just to keep my O intact. And so what? Nope. Do you feel like they got that from Floyd, though? Because there were people that said yeah, Floyd he's, moved he's an influence. That he ducked some, he he's ducked an, some he's an influence. I mean, he's an influence. You know, he's an influence. And um, but but if you want to be remembered, if you want to be remembered as a legend, as a champion, as a as an icon, you know, it's like you have to take challenges. And Floyd did. I mean, don't get me wrong. He took challenges. But uh, not like Oscar De La Hoya. Heck well, no, I mean, Vitor Belfort. Jeez, damn, I'm still it's a taking crazy ass challenge. That. That's a big challenge. <laughs> it damn. is 190 pounds worth. Of, do you have? Yeah. Are you going to make him lose some weight, or is we'll, there gonna... we'll probably meet at 180. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably come in at maybe 175 just to get some speed. You know. How is that number? Like, what's your most what's your most comfortable number? Uh, what would right, you prefer? Right now, what would you prefer to right fight now? Because I've been bulking up. Right. Um. Right now, I feel I feel great at one seventy, one seventy five. Okay. Yeah. So. So you'll have to come down. Fast. What's better, you going up or someone else? Like, is it going up or coming down? Do you feel like you have the advantage? I think I think the advantage um the advantage is 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 going to be him coming down and me going up. You know. You know what I'm but I mean, like, which one of you two do you think is better off? Like, would you rather go oh, yeah. into a fight like, hey, I got to lose 10 or I got to gain 10? I would I would rather I would rather just, uh, yeah, gain 10. You would. Yeah, I would. Big time. Big time. If you see him running around the Rose Bowl, wish the champ luck and uh, show him respect. Pasadena. Yeah, there there's go. all kinds of sightings, Oscarito. Everybody <laughs> knows uh, where the champ is working out. Their people got their heads on a swivel and big oh, bear. Baby. Uh, everybody uh, yeah. looking forward to seeing you back in the ring. And, of course, the big fight card coming up July 9th, streamed on DAZN at the Bank of California Stadium, Banco Popular. Hey, you know what's crazy is uh, so I, I was running around the Rose Bowl. I go up around 6 a.m., you know, and uh, I normally, like, you know, I hide. You know, I put a hat on, glasses, my earphones, whatever, you know, hood, just hiding, you know. And it's like this time I said, you know what, I'm going to brush my hair. I'm going to, you know, go out there, T-shirt. So people can like recognize me, you know? right? So I'm running and it's crazy, <laughs> champ! You can do it, dude! Come out, we're <laughs> with you. I felt like Rocky. I was there. Say, like yeah. running through the streets of it Philadelphia. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. No That's steps great. there. Though. It was pretty cool, man. Can't take it up the steps. Right? <laughs> this is. Then I pulled a hamstring. Oh. <laughs> is that you, champ? No, no, I just look like him. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was cool. I, I'm gonna ask one. This is probably the uh, the bridge too far question, but I because when you said you put the hood on and you yeah. start, so I thought of. Uh, I thought of the dude from Mike Tyson's Punch Out on the Nintendo game. Nah, I put that hood on. Remember, yeah, he would yeah. like jog. Right? Did you play boxing video games? Like I did. You, you did? I did. I. I Were you I, good at him? I was actually. I, I actually came out on. I think four covers of EA. Remember EA Sports? Right. Oh yeah, Fight Night. Absolutely. Yeah. So he came out on that. But I used to play the Glass Joe, Mike Tyson. Right. You know, yeah. Glass Joe. Boom. Boom. Uh, I used Raging to get Bull. All the time. They had all. Yeah. Right, all right, them right. dudes. Yeah. Right on. It was pretty cool. The great Oscar De La Hoya, ladies and gentlemen. There's two big things that he's promoting, and we're so happy to have the champ here talking to us all about it. It's always a pleasure to see you, champ. Oh, man. Thank you, man. Thank Tickets you. Appreciate it. Yeah. available uh, for Zudo versus Barrera at Bank of California. That's B-A-N-C. Banco or Bank of California. Stadium.com or Ticketmaster.com right now. And we're going to give away another pair, by the way. In the break, so don't go anywhere. Let's Get go. over to YouTube. I've been with this guy for Let's 14 years. He'd never looked this swole. <laughs> I mean, he looks swole. Hey, you look there swole. Is, yeah, I mean, he came out to Give me like, some of that. that you know so what ridiculous. it was like? Remember the, the Gardner and the Simpsons where you didn't know? Yeah, and yeah, then he yeah. took off his shirt. He was like, <laughs> it was like ah! Rip. Yeah, and I was like, Dirt. He's got veins coming out of his arms. I know, man. There's no There's no blood coming to his own body. Again, take it back to that. six pack going on. Come on, man. Stadium.com. 
It is Udo versus Barrera on the zone that is coming up. Uh, and again, tickets available there. We're going to give away a pair. Oscar, you're the best. We can't wait till September. Belfort, De La Hoya. It's going to be a great awesome. sports icon in our right. town, making people money Thanks, and still performing as an uh, athlete. There you go. God bless you. Huh? Thank you. Best. Thank you, guys. Get over to YouTube Peace now. Peace Oh. <laughs>
pool party fans. But come on now. Coming up will be a pool party haiku just for you. And I want to thank everybody. God, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. AM570 Sports, Chevy Summer Tour Stop. Chevy, thank you so much. Petrol said money. You. Thank you, guys. AM570, I cannot thank you guys enough. Home of the Dodgers, guys. Thank you since 2007. We love you guys. AM570. Know this. Know this. No pandemic, political climate, no nothing will stop the Petros and Money Show from fulfilling our obligations to our sponsors. Hello? Fritz! You were my guy! I saw you in the Dodger gear! I was yeah. like, that's our guy! Yeah! Money Petros, baby! Log on right now and enter to win the brand new Chevy Silverado! Amp570LASports.com slash Chevy or just click! And you could be the next big winner. We've given away eight trucks. Eight. I wish I could run over Weiss with all of them. Pool party high cool for you on the Petros and Money Virtual Chevy Summer Tour. Come on down to my pool, baby. Come on down, we'll play away. Come on down to my pool, baby. We'll play with our pink flamingo flotation devices and sail away. Come on down to my pool, baby. Come on down, we'll sail away. A pool party, y'all. Pool party, y'all. Pool party, all feeling you. And now back to the pool masters themselves. They're beyond the cabanas. They're beyond the beach. They're beyond the pool. Petrol, some money. Chevy virtual summer tour. Yeah, a feeling you. He did call Floyd a money grab, but he showed him his respect. A big thank you to Oscar De La Hoya. Out of East Los, Belvedere Park, SA. We appreciate you joining us. It's been a great day. Matt is uh, selling his hot dogs great and eating his hot dogs. Great sports talk. I don't know why I'm the only one eating them. Well, because somebody's got to talk while you're eating. It's stop number four on the PMS Virtual Chevy That's Summer. That's a really good point. Yes. Watch it on YouTube or Facebook. Enter for your chance to win that beautiful Chevy Silverado. There will be eight tour stop finalists and then four onliners. Online, you go to ampi70lasports.com keyword Chevy right now and you can become our finalist one or the other Chevrolet Sweet James who's going to join us next hour Chef Merito spices. the Specy Spices and official seasoning of the PMS and of course our friends at Kirin Ichiban Japan's prime beer delicious explore enjoyment we're enjoying that oh Ronnie's coming in for a dog Ronnie's coming in for a dog. Yeah, Ronnie. And look, get Ronnie on the camera. Ronnie's got the it, it is the official canvas by Kate and tank top segment. It We've is. got a wardrobe change. We've got multiple tanks we're wearing today. Tanks for nothing. If you get the YouTube.com AM570 LA Sports feed, or if you get the Facebook.com AM570 LA Sports feed, you can see. Look, there's Ronnie on the screen showing off his shoulder look tattoo. At that sweet oh. tattoo. Oh. Damn, dude. I didn't wow, know that existed. Man, wow. Is that an eclipse, Ronnie? What is that? Is, is that, that the solstice? It's the sun, summer solstice. It's the moon. Summer it's the solstice. Stars. That's summer solstice. Beautiful. Shomer Shabbos. Damn. All right. It is time for the secret brought to you by Chevy. Sign up to win that Chevrolet Silverado. I want to have a hot dog at some point. I did have one of Kate's crooked puzzo dogs. Good. They were delicious. Well, you know, look, it's not much to look at, but it tastes great. It'll satisfy you. Know you. what? You don't know the difference when it's inside. <laughs> exactly yet. right. You know what I mean? Exactly right. That's what the lady said. That's right. The secret text us online. Sold out to Chevy. Speaking of fake outrage, remember that episode of The Bachelorette where the fat guy walked into a tree limb and tried to, oh, wait, sorry, that was you. Sweet James will join us. Yes. And we'll talk about those. Whatever happened with that? Did you get a settlement yet? No, I decided not to sue. That's unfortunate. I decided not to sue the city. That's unfortunate. I think that I've made the right decision. I'm not a litigious person. But I'm just showing, if you do get your head hit by a tree, call Sweet James. 800 500 In case you decide to sue. Copy that. So I know you're going to talk about the escaped cows sooner or later. Have you heard? You saw the, the escaped cows of Pico Rivera? I would like to talk about it, 
but Fred did like 25 minutes on it. Oh. And Vic was talking about how he was one with the cow. You just slapped and my Fred, shoulders. Yes, and Gosh. Fred was like, I don't like it because they know what's coming. Here's some inside info. I worked there for six months while studying to join the FDA as an inspector. We almost never had the cows overnight because it's not a great neighborhood. I can almost guarantee that someone in the neighborhood thought it would be easy to grab one and slaughter it in his backyard. Only problem is they got a herd mentality to get just one out. Ain't happening, bitch. And that's an expert. That's an expert right there. See, now that's the next level of conversation, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, dude. I mean, come on. Nobody respects a magic respect hot dog for box. the hot dog maker leaving the top off. It's a steam oven. You take the top off, there's no steam. And then we're out of water. I'm assuming, uh, did Vic just do his haiku in the last segment? Uh, this says, I'm assuming Vic will be Donald ducking it in a tank top and no pants, but oh. just want to confirm. Uh, he seemed to be wearing shorts. Yeah. Short. I mean, I'm close. Jams. I believe jams he was wearing. Yeah, yeah, I'm close to Donald ducking it today. I got my uh, my little boy Euro shorts on. I'm feeling good about it. I forgot that it was not an all American theme, and I wore all American board shorts. That's today. good though. We're, we're American. Okay. Proud to be an American. Where at least I know I'm free. Tell money to stop flexing when he takes a drink of that Modelo. Toothpick arms. <laughs> they are. Hey, arms. Matt looks swollen, and it's Kieran. And it's Ichiban. Kieran, guys. First Kieran. press, 100 percent malt. It's good beer. I read the text, Kate's. I know what he's drinking. But I didn't want to lie in the text. And Matt looks swole. I mean, there's just no, there's no denying the swoleness. I'm just very skinny in my arms. There are many reasons why I listen to PMS. Yesterday's Steven Tyler quote is certainly one of them. And uh, it was a quote from Todd Rundgren, really, after uh, Liv Tyler was born. And uh, he knew his then girlfriend. Yeah, she was a bastard. And he was like, I don't know who's baby dad, but this this girl needs a baby daddy. And that was the quote. And Rundgren picked up the mantle. It wasn't until she became a famous actress that anybody acknowledged that uh, Rundgren was raising a bastard and got cucked. Well, he was Steve already Tyler. raising yeah. a bastard. I mean, they weren't married. That's uh, true. It was always going to be a bastard. And then Stephen Tyler's quote was. <laughs> oh, you have it? Cocaine. Oh, I think that was the the yak in the back. Yeah, we need the uh, we need the cocaine clown sound. (laughs) Matt looks like a gay man. You know what? Yeah, that's okay. Hey, Pride Month, man. Let's go. It's Pride Month. Let's go. It's not a tall can. Matt's hands are just small. It is a tall can. That is true. That is very true. Here's one. Damn, Petros, you ugly as s. Is that new? Is that new information that I'm funny looking? You know what? We've been on the radio for a I long mean, time. Jesus and Christ. We just start doing these YouTube videos, and next thing you know, people put a face to the voice, and they're like, God, those guys are weird looking. Happens all the time. Ronnie cooking it up in the Kate and Tank. <laughs> <laughs> we got Salty Crew Tanks. ET Surf. We got ET Surf, and we got Kate and Tanks. We're living the life. I brought here. nine. A wardrobe change I every have, segment. I have three. Keep rotating. Oh, I was, man, there's a new audience every 39 minutes. I was going to go to the store, but. See, my wife did not throw away all my tank top. Yeah, mine did. They were hidden underneath all of my board shorts, or she would have thrown away all of my tank top. Why do women not like tank top? Because they want to be the ones who wear a bra and be sexy. Right. And it's like, you know what? You're not the only one that's sexy. Check Sorry, this ladies. Out. Check out my shoulders. Look at this guy. Pretty great, right? Look at that guy right there. Look at all the blood pumping around his body. You can see the veins. <laughs> Couldn't be anything else. A lot of yak. Very veiny. <laughs> okay! We'll be right back. Up like a chicken. All right. PCP right up, up like a chicken. We got tickets to give away. Get over to YouTube. Get over to Facebook. Doing it right now. Do 8570 LA Sports Channel. Get over there. We're giving away tickets. In a commercial. Break. Log on right now and enter to win the brand new Chevy Silverado. Are we on? We on? All right. 
We are uh, three minutes here, and we got tickets to Magic Mountain to give away. Uh, we got two pairs. So we'll give away a pair here, and then we'll give away a pair in another break. We still have Dodger tickets. We still have Clipper playoff tickets. We still have a Burke Williams gift card to give away in every single commercial break. We'll give away a pair of tickets. Uh, let's do, in honor of Magic Mountain, since oh, you're going to be a... Uh, let's do, uh, what's the name of the wooden coaster? What's it's the name of the... now. Still there. It's upgrade. Upgrade? Didn't they send us a piece of it? They built around it. Built around it? Hey, man, that's it's the trivia question, man. What are you doing, dude? Come on, man. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> what's the name of the wooden coaster at Magic Mountain? If you have the answer, uh, call 866-987-2570. You will win a pair of tickets. Uh, P is going for the Crooked Puzzle Kate's dog, by the way. The CPC. The CPC. Crooked Puzzle Kate's. And the Steam Bun. Perhaps you can see on our uh, on our YouTube feed. Yeah, there you go. Got a good view of you loading up that dog with the onion, with a mustard. Stop directing me. I'm trying to eat. God, you're like you're like the you're like Daisy in Apocalypse Now, where the guys are trying to fight a war, and you're, you're like, like Weiss. No, come closer. Come closer. No, they want your arms. I'm trying to work here. They want your arms. They want the tats. They want the arms. Whatever. Oh, look at this. Someone says there's two there's two wooden ones. You know what? We'll take either. You know which one I'm talking about, though. The one that's been there forever. Well, the Ghost Rider is the one that did not. Knots, exactly. I like the Ghost Rider. Dude, but it knocks you around now. That was, uh, that, that's one where I have to decide whether or not I was a great parent or a terrible parent. My daughter Parker, my middle daughter, that was her first ever coaster. Oh, that's good. She was five years old. Perfect. Everybody was looking at me like, holy shit. Hey. You're <laughs> taking her on that you roller coaster? I was like, rules. yeah. You the rules. Yeah, you effing coward. I'm taking her on. What are you doing? You're peeing your pants right now. Watch this. <laughs> I still think she hasn't recovered from that, by the way. Johnny She's my only daughter that doesn't like roller coasters. Johnny, these men are <laughs> <laughs> 866-987-2570. Magic Mountain. Name the coaster. And then we got one more pair to give away. And, uh, yeah. We good? Yeah. Hey, we good? All right, it's another year and another Petro Sand Money Chevy Summer Tour. Thanks so much for being with us. We cannot thank you enough because of your participation last year and so far this year. We get to keep doing this, so stick around. We're giving a lot of huge prizes away, plus some more great sports talk still to come. It's the Petros and Money Chevy Summer Tour. Live from the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank, this is Petros and Money. Hi, Colin here. It's time for World Champion Dodger Baseball on your home of the Dodgers, AM570 LA Sports. Dodgers Baseball is on the air and... On your phone, stream all the games on the iHeartRadio app and get all our exclusive Dodger podcasts as well. Just listen to AM570 LA Sports every game, all season long. Not all personal injury law firms are the same. Experience counts. Results matter. If your case is important to you, call us now for a free consultation. Ryan here, executive chef at Dodger Stadium. And one thing I love is watching all the fans go to the taqueria to get Chef Morito's carne asada nacho helmet. And now I'm gonna show you how to take it from Dodger Stadium to your home. Hey Dodger fans, we're gonna make this fan favorite using Chef Morito's carne asada seasoning. Chef Morito is a proud seasoning partner of the Dodgers. Let's get started. Preferably you want to marinate the meat for 20 to 30 minutes to really enhance the flavors. I like to marinate mine overnight to just make it even that much better. So you always want to set your grill to medium heat. It helps you control your cooking and not overcook the meat. I love using Chef Merito's carne asada seasoning because the blend of garlic, paprika, and citrus give a rich and bold, authentic flavor. Chevy is America's fastest growing full line brand and people are taking it everywhere. Taking Trailblazer outdoors, confidently taking
people are spoiled with entertainment that we provide. I do uh, appreciate all the people on YouTube saying, oh, great, I got half of the nacho recipe again. Apparently, the Chef nacho recipe keeps cutting off. Halfway Sorry, we're through. back. <laughs> We're back. Okay, and I got the steak. Well, you want to hold on? Like, you want us to and hold I on? The, I got the chopped onions. Oh, let's let the chef get... And, uh, should, should oh, we, son of a bitch. Should we stop and roll it back in? Can we do that, wacko? Or should we just do the chef? <laughs> With a <laughs> <the> corn. <laughs> oh, God damn it! I was going to use the chamoy. <laughs> when the teenage car has got the cop down on it, that time is here for one more year. Going it out, Vic. Pool Noodle. Petros and Money, AM 570 LA Sports, live everywhere on the iHeart Radio app if you're not near a radio. But if you're not near a radio and you got your smart device, why not just hop on the YouTube or the Facebook and go to the AM 570 LA Sports page? We're rolling now. 456 and counting, man. We are moving. And we have to talk to Don McClain on the phone this very hour because of the nature of the Clipper loss last night. Oof. Almost like an emergency Oof, uh. talk with Don McClain. Hey, they got him right where they want him. Down on two, right? Uh, and I went on uh, Phoenix Sports Talk Radio this oh, morning. They brought you on to like humiliate right, you. Like, yeah, 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 let's bring in the LA guy. And it was and like it uh, Wolf, the Wolfie show or whatever. Oh, I the, love the, oh. the old fullback. He was an old West Virginia yeah. fullback who played for the Cardinals for a long time. He talks a lot like Mark Willard. <laughs> And he was like, what's it like in L.A. today? I mean, everybody's talking about alley oops. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, most people don't care about the Clippers guy. <laughs> and they were like, well, yeah, but certainly. I was like, no, guys, nobody cares about the Clippers. But you're on the Clipper station. I was like, yeah, yeah. we pretty much call it the Dodger station. And uh, I expect the Clippers. And that, you know what he did there? He turned off his mic and he goes, who the hell booked this yeah, guy? Who booked this Who idiot? booked this guy? This isn't what we wanted. I, I, need want it. It. I need a confrontation. Now, we had a nice interview, but uh, they kind of went with that, like, you know, because Phoenix really wants Los Angeles to be in some kind of peril. They want beat L.A. Yeah, they want people to be like. They want the Diamondbacks throwing them people out and Dodger uniforms unless they change from yeah, their ballpark. They want that's people what they're looking for. weeping and moaning yeah. and gnashing their teeth. And, and L.A. saying that's, that's, that's angry. That's not the original. That's not the original. They not want the them because DeAndre Aiden threw it down. Beautiful. And they want to be like, you see, L.A., that's what you deserve. And I tried to explain to them. I said, well, most Laker fans are probably just i mean it is cool to have something on tv that's locally related but most of them are probably rooting for phoenix just to i would think so rub it in the face of their one clipper fan friend and although i, said, I do think they're getting tired of all of the devin booker mamba mentality he's our next kobe i think they're kind of i think yeah, I, I gotta you, believe the laker fans are salty about I'm that i'm pretty bit. sure they'd rather have phoenix in the finals than the clippers, than the clippers yes. and have people rub it and i said there is a fan base there's a hardcore. A lot of people live in L.A. There's a blue collar fan base for the Clippers. There's no doubt about it, but it's a much bigger uh, national story. And to be rational, I don't believe that the Clipper marketing department has the ability to pull off a parade if they did win. That's what you're cheering for. I'm cheering for Chris Paul's apology tour saying I never was vaxxed. Oh, and I'm sorry I, oh, yeah. I lied. And like an idiot, I pulled that out. I was like, <laughs> well, my radio partner who's the voice of the charge. Yeah. I was like, he thinks uh, Chris Paul never got vaxxed and he's going to have to apologize. And then what they say? Oh, they got out. Oh, I believe he is vaccinated. <laughs> the vaccine. And I'm sitting here just wearing it. Like, I don't that's care. Great. I don't even care. I'm like, See, Tommy, you, come on. I felt like Tommy oh, yeah? Lee Jones. Oh, yeah, Wolf, why do you believe that? I felt like Tommy Lee Jones in The Fugitive where uh, Harrison Ford's like, I didn't kill my wife. And Tommy Lee Jones is like, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I was just like, I had nothing to tell him because what they wanted to talk about was like, How's it going? Clippers suck. We won last night. What's it like in L.A. today? I bet it's a wasteland. And I was like, yeah, not really, guys. It's uh, it's kind of like it normally is. You would say, you know what? You're right. It is. And, and then I like, said, I know what I can do. I could go with the Matt Money Smith vaccine. Here it comes. You know, here I can come. Here's my vaccine yeah. angle. Yes. And I, whenever I come with a Matt Money Smith angle on the radio on somebody else's show, I always credit him. I say, you know, my radio partner, he says, you know, Chris Paul not vaxxed, and I got shut. I got took Maxwell Silver Hammer yeah. right between. You. Oh, I believe he is vaccinated. <laughs> oh yeah, why? Why, why, why is that, huh? Why I do you like, believe Damn. he's vaccinated? Why? Why? Huh? What is he playing? Is he out there? No. He said the vaccine is to guard you from getting sick. 
not to guard you, test positive, Petros, and not like I'm an epidemiologist. <laughs> and I'm like, damn it. The great Why did is, I open up this gate? We're going to tune into Wolfie tomorrow morning, and it's going to be like, hey, it's the Wolfie Show in Phoenix. How you doing? Uh, joining us right here. <laughs> I just love that he's got the Mark Willard. Oh, no, he does. Oh, no, no. Oh, he's got the oh, bro boy. He, dude, he's a former fullback. Lizard. He played fullback in the NFL for like eight years. That's exactly how he sounded. Now, there is another guy who was like, well, I don't know if I can. <laughs> but it's, gotta be another I guy. forget what the other guy's name is. With, uh, Snurgly? No, somebody sent me like, I got a couple. It must be the show in Denver. Or, I mean, excuse me, in Phoenix. because And they were like, hey, Paul George is from L.A. What's that like? I was like, well, he's really from Palmdale. How far is Flagstaff from you guys? Well, like two hours. Okay. Like, yeah, well, pretty much got the same deal there. Uh, you guys don't claim Flagstaff. Oh, hell no. Uh, Doug and Wolfie in Arizona. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was it. I bet Doug's great. Wolfie was great. But, you know, they wanted... Uh, they wanted blood. They wanted blood. They wanted clipper blood. Yes. And I wasn't willing to bleed it for them. That's... um. You know, they might have looked on YouTube. That, by the way, that is not the first time that you have booked been booked on Phoenix, either radio or television, and expected expected to deliver blood, and you did not Oh, the deliver. best is when it comes to, like, USC. It's you like, had their Fox Sports Arizona behind enemy lines, Suns versus Lakers, oh, they yeah. were up 3-1. They do and the Lakers lost. thing. I'm like, yeah, yes. well, I root against the Lakers pretty hard. <laughs> like, who booked this guy? They're like, what? You root against the Lakers? The, the segment's called Behind Enemy Lines. What is going on? There's that one, and then there's, like, you know, Arizona State looks great against USC. USC screwed. What say you, former USC captain? I agree. I love it. I think <laughs> USC is going to lose. Coach got to go. I mean, they just, they just, they never learn, Matt. They never learn. And it's unfortunate, but I did go on. Fine. I'll pick one of these up. Jesus. But I did go on today as a LA surrogate. As a representative of the Clippers Nation, I believe is what they like to call it. Uh, Clipper Nation had you. In yeah. You like that, Matt? You like that? Very director? phallic. Huh? It's, it's That's just, right. It's very You know phallic. what we're like? We're like uh, that inflatable that's on the side of the 22 saying, hey, come on in here. Buy a Chevy. Oh, yeah. Check it out. I'm a gorilla we got wearing board in here. shorts and sandals. Woo! And I'm on the 22, and I want you to buy a used Subaru. All right, <laughs> it is time for the number of the day. I'm going to do the number, number, man. Oh, you do your number? I mean, number or I day. can do something else. Knock but, it out. Uh, 30 years, man. Man. 30 years. 30 year anniversary today. Tonight. Of one of the greatest video games of all time, if not the greatest, Sonic the Hedgehog. Is that right? Celebrations happening all over the world. It was June. <laughs> or when you get hit. <laughs> June 23rd, 1991, Sonic the Hedgehog was released for Sega Genesis. Since then, non stop speed. Today, there was a live 30th anniversary symphony on YouTube. I think you can watch it uh, in uh, retroactively now. But I watched part of it live. And a symphony was doing all these different levels of Sonic. And the big cool. screen behind them was, playing. was all the different games. That's Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic and Tails. Really cool stuff. Sonic Mania. And he went through all the various zones, seemingly countless games and levels. It was magical. I watched until I had to talk to Softy. Sonic is the only video game. Did Softy want blood? Softy want to talk about. Everybody wants to talk about the NCAA stuff. Oh, the 12-team uh, like, playoff or the no, name no, image likeness? The, the, it's not even image likeness. It's paying players. Oh. And I'm like, I'm like, do you do you know the ethics and the uh, all the different uh, things that are going to be involved with every individual university and how they're going to get around Title IX and go about playing revenue sports? Well, no. I said, do you think John Wilner knows that? Well, no. I mean, no, I'm a dumb radio guy, and he's a sports writer. Like, there's a long journey for these guys to actually get compensated the way they you should You know, there's be. no playbook for these guys. There's none. We're all flying by the seat of our pants. That's exactly. what's going on out there. Sonic the Hedgehog, Matt. Beautiful. Is the only video game I've ever been good at. And I love Sonic. What about um, uh, Alex Kidd? In Miracle, Miracle World? World? Yeah. You weren't good at that? No, but I love it. I mean, I was good at a certain point, but I was no Tasso Papadakis. Right. Yeah. Stop. You're getting violent. <laughs> Jesus, cool this guy's got a freaking Grateful Dead hat on it. He's all aggressive. I think I got a shot at that. Uh, is it St. Joe's that the Eagle has to wha uh, flap its wings the whole game? Is it St. Joseph's that does that? Their mascot? 
Yeah. The entire game. Phil Martelli, exactly. he wills it. <laughs> You want the job or do you not want the job? 30 years, Sonic the Hedgehog. Congratulations. It's time for the word of the day, everybody. He heard me with his words. The word of the day. Ronnie, give me the Billy Ocean. I had a revelation today driving up. <laughs> really? As uh, you and I occasionally will text while we are on the road, uh, sharing each other's updates. We like to prep for the show, get things ready, expect to be uh, here at a particular time so we can get the show all sorted out. Yeah. So every now and then we'll, ta- we'll text one another and say, hey, sorry. Running a little late. Running a little late. Or lately, I've texted twice now and said, I've gotten ways. You know, I've, I've taken the advice of ways against my better judgment. Right. And they have taken me on a long, circuitous route, suggesting that I would arrive to work like 15 minutes early only to get the traffic is building. And I end up being three minutes later than had I taken the direct route. Maybe that explains your popping veins and just gripping the wheel. So angry. So today, I had this epiphany of something that really bothers me about Waze. And I think those that, that listen to Waze might be able to relate, or maybe I'm just a weirdo. Boy George is now my ways voice. Is that right? Turn left. I've always had the Australian man. Yeah, I got Boy George. Turn left. I got Boy George right now. Um, is there <laughs> like a game to be played? Are there points to be earned? Are there tokens you can cash in for prizes? Oh, on to ways? tell people if stuff is happening. Please stop telling me that there are cars on the side of the road. Traffic reported ahead. It's that I don't mind. I don't mind the cops to keep me out of a street trap. Reported yes. ahead. But when I I get on the way up, it was like after the fourth or fifth time, the icon comes on my screen and it says, car on shoulder. I don't give an F if a car is on the shoulder because when that thing pops up in my periphery, what do I think? Traffic is building. You're going to be, and I and I start grabbing that wheel and I get angry. And then you get a swole. <laughs> stop telling me there's cars on the shoulder. Well, it's who, not in a lane. It's not a hazard. It's a car on a freaking shoulder. And that is really the question. Who are the people? Right. Who does that? That are like, oh, car on the shoulder. Better report this. Exactly. Oh, and they're sitting there driving along. They're driving and messing with your phone. Or some really annoying passenger. It, the cops, thank you. Let's all band together and avoid the speed traps. That's fine. I got one the other day on the five. It said pothole ahead. I hit the pothole. It was not a deep pothole. My co- my tire did not pop or anything. It was a small bump. You do get points, but I don't know what you cash. Right. I don't know what you cash. What it do you in cash for? it in for? Is it like the Dave and Buster's where I can cash it in for some sweet tarts think, and a pool uh, noodle? I think you get enough points, and it just your car takes off like Repo Man. <laughs> like a certain amount of points you get, and then Repo Man, your car just <laughs> blows into space. Stop telling me there's cars on the shoulder. Speaking of, uh, I don't care. Matt Smith, road rage. COVID pandemic talk. I was trying to like get in today uh, of like a lane. I was trying to merge and like, you know, you're either going to let me in or you're going to be right. an a-hole and Dodge charger, two Teslas wouldn't let me in. No chance. No, you got no chance. And I'm just like, God, what a, like, I was like, and you know what I said? Typical. <laughs> <laughs> two of the worst cars on the freeway, challengers and Teslas. You're terrible people. See, but that's where, and look. Or Charger, I don't know. I don't know if... I, I can't I, tell which listen, one is a four-door or a two-door. Nope, nobody does this. Nobody does. I don't no, know they if, pull I, back the curtain. I don't know if I'm pulling back the curtain and I shouldn't be here. But that's where you roll down the window and you're driving that beautiful Chevy Silverado high country uh-huh. and you tell them to roll down their window and you say, this is a rental. I'm coming in. You make a decision. <laughs> and you just start turning. Well, you know, sometimes... This I, is a rental. Sometimes, you know, with the Chevy, it's a big car. Right. And it doesn't... Here I it. come. I, know, I had to remember that, you know, when I, one time uh, I cut a guy off on the 110. He must have had a hard day. I think he was a security guard because he pulled out his nightstick and he tried to joust me. <laughs> Literally tried to joust me. And it's not funny because people get shot. It's horrible. Certainly. It's terrible. The road rage. But yes. this guy tried to joust me with his... With his uh, nightstick, and I was... I couldn't stop laughing. I was dying. I'd, I'd have lost it. And that's what happens. Like, when somebody gets really mad on the freeway, yeah. I just start laughing, and then they get like... Yes. Ah! <laughs> that's what, That's why you need to take that pool noodle. Let that be your challenge. <laughs> <instead. laughs> start poking at that challenger. Yeah, but I, I, do, I do wonder who the person is that, like, fills in all this different stuff. You know? Right. Like... What are you doing? I don't care. It's... even. You know what? Again, thank you for the police alert. Hazard I don't want to get reported a, ahead. Yes, but I don't, 
come on, stop, just stop. I don't know if your life, and this is, I guess, taking it a step. Or too when far. they make their own is, little is life uh, that empty that you have to tell me that there's hazards. They have their own little the waste character. It looks yes. like a little Pikachu. Exactly. Ooh, mine's got a mustache. And here's my name. <laughs> And instead of my car being the standard red, it's green. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks uh, a lot. Commuters of the world unite. The repo. Commuters of the world <laughs> life, unite. Life as a repo, man, is always intense. <laughs> That's what happens. You fill in enough, Matt, and you just, yeah. you just take some. Take off. <laughs> you open your trunk, and it's got the glow. Over East L.A., <laughs> Oscar De La Hoya sitting next to you exactly like, yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> Freaking out. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't going to wear that tank. By the way, those of you commenting on the bucket hat, Petros bought this for me two days ago. Yesterday. Yesterday. And I don't think I've taken it off since. It's a good I hat. absolutely love. And by the way, this hat, a little bit of a tease, will be celebrated today in uh, your dead guy birthday of the day. Copy. Matter of fact. It's time. Turn that camera around. And you can around. see it on YouTube. Turn your love around Is like ready? Al Jarreau. All right. And let's get to the song of the day. This is the song of the day. <laughs> Out of Limits is our song of the day from the Marquettes. A nice twangy surf guitar sound to match our theme today, where nothing's out of limits on the Petros and Money Chevy virtual summer tour. Living the tank top lifestyle for the fine people tuned in to stop number four, ready to participate via Facebook and YouTube as we shoot the curl and ride the wave of great sports shoot talk into Dodger baseball at Petco Park with the Padres, hoping to salvage at least one in San Diego. And Tim Cates will get us ready. Hopefully the Dodgers will pull it out tonight with your Morongo Casino Dodgers on Deck program that begins at 6. Tell Money right. to stop jacking that thing, freaking sicko. Yeah, yeah. We're going to talk to Don McClain next. Clippers, uh, dramatic loss last you, night you in have the a, desert. a cool little uh, thing for Don McClain, Matt, to make it like when we're talking to Don, like a screen, like a full screen. Just ask Wolfie. Epic night in the desert, bro. How did it feel to wake up this morning, L.A.? The dog and Wolfie show. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I, I came on my comrades. Is it Wad or is it Dog? Is it Wolfie and Dog or is it Dog and Wolfie? His name might be Wolf Lee. Hold on. I got so it. did you avoid Sports Center last night? The was it dog, too painful? The Dog and Wolf Lee show. Okay. So a Wolf Lee. Wolf Lee. Ron Wolf Lee, former fullback. Wolf Lee. See that dog, brother? Yeah. I was there when it went down in Granada, brother. I did prayers and sweat the vitamins, brother. Get over to YouTube. We're giving away tickets when we go to commercial. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> AM570 LA Sports Channel. Log on right now and enter to win the brand new Chevy Silverado. Amp570LASports.com slash Chevy or just click and you could be the next big winner. We've given away. Las Montañas is magical. The mounds are magic. And we're giving away another gift card to Matt. What are we? Tickets? We got two pair. We got uh, a pair of tickets. One pair of tickets to Magic Mountain to give away. Second pair. Yes, we gave away a pair last. Colossus, this. You got some trivia, Magic Mountain trivia. What was the uh, the, the roller coaster, the old, what we would say in Greece, the old police scraper? Your police are your legs. Uh, and when your legs are dangling off, what was the name of the very first roller coaster at Magic Mountain that had the dangling legs? Leg dangle. I think you got it, Kit. I think you got you it, You know, Kate. Kate's? I think, he, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly right. Which one was the leg dangler? Which one was the police scraper at beautiful Magic Mountain in Valencia, California? Used to be a Murray Calendars right across the street, folks. It's gone. It is gone. Pandemic victim. I think it was gone before the You know, pandemic. that uh, trivia has reminded me. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, because a it's a, a star. ninja star. Yeah. Caller number 10 at 866-987-257. He's getting the tickets. To Magic Mountain. But you better have the answer 10. to that trivia question. What? You don't want me to throw the ninja Here, star? Throw it through the throw it through the thing. Uh which throw way are you gonna throw it right here? Okay, go. Ready? Yep. Not at the sur That's not a real surf. No, I'm gonna throw it at the I'm gonna throw it at the screen. So what? Big deal. Maybe it's time for some new shit, huh? Exactly. God. You, you wanna throw I'm gonna throw it at the surfboard here? Right. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw it up. Hey, use this one. Yeah, 
Shut up. All right, here we go. No. All right, which way are we going? Oh, yeah, that's not in the camera. That's not in the camera. Yeah. That's All not right. the original. All right, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. How about that timing? See that? Did you see that? Play you it back in slow shit? motion. Play it back. Where's the tape guy? <laughs> Where's the tape guy? Play that back. That was really good, Matt. You're getting really good. All right, Matt's here we getting go. swole, and he's running a ninja star. You sure that's not Kurt Russell over there? <laughs> Dad? Oh, yeah. Is that not Kurt Russell there from Big Trouble in Little China? It's all in the reflexes. Very racially insensitive movie. I didn't find it to be. <laughs> he stole that white flesh, that Kim Cattrall. Exactly right. All right. Ah! Oh, I pierced it. Nice. Very nice. Where did it Everything's pierce? going good here on the Chevy Yeah, I did look. Tour. Where's the, uh, where's the camera? Up to win a brand new Chevy right Silverado. There. Look at that blue stripe. Pierced it with the star. Yeah, very yeah, nice. Yeah, look at that. Uh, what you got to do is click on the link and sign up to win the Chevy. That's how you thank us for this Woo. wonderful entertainment. We're going to talk to Don McClain about that alley oops uh, last night in the Valley. What do you think of that? Do you want your skin kneaded? Kneaded? Do you need pampering? The Burke Williams Day Spa is waiting for you. Effective and fabulous for self-care. We're giving them away on the PMS Chevy Summer Tour. Stay tuned. Passes to the Burke Williams Day Spa. Not all personal injury law firms are the same. Experience counts. Results matter. If your case is important to you, Call us now for a free consultation. Live from the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank, this is Petros and Money. Hey, Petros and Money fans, Fred Rogan here. We hope you're enjoying the PMS Summer Tour. But don't forget to listen to us, Rodney Pete, and myself, weekdays starting at noon right here on AM570 LA Sports. Petros and Money. Log on right now and enter to win the brand new Chevy Silverado. Amp570LASports.com slash Chevy or just click and you could be the next big winner. We've given away eight trucks. Eight. I wish I could run over Reese with all of them. Chevy is America's fastest growing full line brand and people are taking it everywhere. Taking Trailblazer outdoors, confidently taking on new places with Equinox and taking on more with Silverado. Whatever you do, there's a perfect Chevy to take you anywhere. Find your perfect Chevy and get 0% financing for 72 months on select popular Chevy SUVs or get 10% of MSRP cash back on most 2021 Equinox models.
Top of the Petros and Money virtual Chevy Summer Tour. We're doing it right now. Get over to YouTube, get over to Facebook, click on the AM570 LA Sports channel on YouTube or the page on Facebook, and you will get the live feed video component. If you're just checking in for the first time, we've been on for 90 minutes halfway through this fourth stop of the virtual Chevy Summer Tour. Oscar De La Hoya was in studio with us. We have changed tank tops every segment. De La Hoya, De La Vega. We're rotating. If you're just checking in, you missed Ronnie's tank top exposing his right shoulder tattoo. A it, summer Native American style. It looked like he got that with the naked Indian in the doors, you know, just out there I, in the desert freaking out. We had uh, and the naked Indian showed up and freaking tattooed him. You know that naked Indian? Oh, yeah. That freaking uh, Jim Rad Morrison the saw. Snake. We had someone text or uh, chat in the chat. Right, the snake YouTube. to the ancient lake. Say, there's no doubt Ronnie got that when he was a DJ in the 559. Ronnie? You know, Ronnie, was that a Fresno tattoo? Quite possibly. Yeah! Oh! Yeah, YouTube chat room. Speaking yeah. of uh, parts unknown, Matt, joining us from Simi Valley mm. by way of Westlake, California. He's got a statue. He's got a statue at Lemon Park. He's on the phone. We had to make an emergency call because of the alley oops that they're calling in the Valley of Sun last night. A guy that he knew well as a player, DeAndre Ayton, breaking the Clippers' hearts. Chris Paul still not playing, and the Clippers are down like they were the Mavs and the Jazz. Here to make sense of it all on your Clipper station. He's a great Clipper broadcaster. The next ass he kisses will be the first. He also works for, well, Valley Sports, Pac-12 Network. He is the founder of the Conejo Valley Basketball Club, and he works for CAA, working out draft for the NBA. Pistons got the number one. And Ben Wallace had a nice cut. Oh, did he? I missed it. Yeah, nice uh, gray... Look like a Charles Oakley, like a gray kind of a flat top, as opposed to the uh, guy from TV on the radio, gray afro, which I was hoping I for. love that one. But it is Don McClain on the Chevy Silverado Celebrity Hotline during the virtual PMS Chevy Summer Tour, and we have like a cool thing uh, to put up on the screen when we're talking to him. Hi, Don. How are you? I'm great. I'm in the midst of uh, Summer League High School basketball, Damn. and Tim just informed me that you guys are doing a lot of grab ass today, which bums me out because you know that is my specialty when I come in studio. Uh, with you guys. Damn right, it is. He Nobody grabs ass, ass like Don McClain. My God, exactly. He, he can grab, grab asses. <laughs> we grab ass. You grab asses with those giant nets. Don, did anything like that ever happen to you in your basketball career? Anything that that you would put on the level of point eight seconds on the clock and eight and just putting it on Zubats's head? You know, I didn't really think about that today, but it doesn't happen very often. And, you know, it was a well-designed play. It was well-executed. Booker put a great screen on Zoo, and they made a great pass. You know, the Clippers' mistake was they put Cousins in the game, but he wasn't shaded to the right side, and he should have been jumping up and down because yeah. if you jump up and down, yeah. now you got to put a little more air under the ball, and maybe it's not on target. But if you, if you, if you just have a guy standing there, you can you can locate the target of where it needs to go and put it where where it needs to be. So that to me was the only mistake. I give the credit to the Suns for the play design and the execution, but I think the Clippers could have made it harder on them. Do you see this as similar to the last two down O two <clears throat> situations for the Clippers? I mean, no one's ever come back down O two once in the NBA playoffs. The Clippers have done it twice. Is this uh the same old thing for them or is there a real problem? Why do I feel like it's no? The answer to that is no. It just feels different. I knew that something was wrong with Utah. Something was different. They weren't together. They weren't playing together. This Suns team's together, man, and they got great spirit. Their fans are behind them. They, they seem like they really enjoy playing with each other. And now CP's coming back. And so, you know, I, I should say that, yeah, they've been down 0-2. They can do it again. But for – for whatever reason, I just feel like this might be different, but I hope that the Clippers can prove me wrong. Now, they were up by a point, and they should have probably been up by three, at the very least two, God. with .8 seconds left. Um, awesome. Again, just asking you to reflect upon your basketball career, no matter what level it was at, Don. How much different are shooting free throws, is shooting free throws, uh, when you have a chance to kind of ice the game or at least guarantee nothing less than overtime versus at the, I don't know, eight-minute mark of the first quarter? way different like way you you know as a player i don't and you're right matt it doesn't matter what level you know what's on the line by making or missing these and you guys know pg is my guy 
and I want him to do well, but you, you can't miss both in that situation. I get it if you miss one, but you're an 85 percenter. You have to knock down at least one. So now it changes the strategy. The Suns now have to go. They have to get a two to tie. They might go for a three to win and not make it. So then you win. It's just when you miss both, now all options are on the table for Phoenix. And I just feel bad for PG because like we talked about last week, uh, you felt like he had turned the narrative around on himself, that he came through, got his team without Kawhi to the Western Conference Finals, and here we are again. Here we are. Everybody taking shots at him and saying, you know, calling him playoff P, mockingly and all that stuff. So I'm hopeful that that Paul can can spin it back around again and the Clippers get back in the series and potentially win it. Uh, I think be, the Clippers can win it. Yeah, being on a team, though, and knowing you were that close, I mean, uh, are, do you think Lou's got it in him to kind of dig him out again from that hole? And did they seem a little bit more down after the game last night than they were after going down 0-2 to Dallas or going down 0-2 to the Jazz? Well, it just takes more energy, P. The more you get down 0-2, the more mental and physical energy it takes to win a series. And so here we are again. And how much do they have left in the tank? You know, they came down from 0-2 Mavs, 0-2 Jazz, and now you got to do it again. Do you have the mental strength to dig in again and do what it's take do what it takes to flip the series around and eventually win it? We're going to find out. But just the longer this goes on, and the more you put yourself down 0-2, the harder it becomes. No matter who you're playing, and Phoenix, like I said, seems to be in a great place right now. What did you make, um, Don, just kind of going big picture? We talked about this yesterday, about the uh, Sham Sharania story surrounding the NBA and the calls that they are, A, not going to make, or if they do make, will be offensive fouls, the non-basketball moves that have led to so many free throws uh, from oh. unnatural plays. Um, do you think, well, I'll ask you two questions. One, is that because of, you think Joel Embiid's sort of lament at the end of that series that he's always fouled and these guys are getting whistles on nothing? Or do you think it's just the unwatchable nature of the the James Harden style and, and how it's kind of proliferated throughout the league? The second one. Yeah. The second one. Everyone's tired of watching it. Van Gundy, every time it comes up, mentions that. God, so he nailed it I last all night. Of us, yeah, I think all of us that watch and cover and, and, and are analysts of, of basketball let out a collective hallelujah because – sick of watching it and it shouldn't be part of the game and I took all that incoming about talking about Harden and how it's unwatchable and I don't like watching them play that was it was because of that so now three years later they're changing the rules so I couldn't have been all that wrong three right. years ago about what I was watching and so I'm glad they did it I think it's going to make the game better it's going to make guys earn it more, and we're not going to have two-hour and 45-minute games because there's a 100 free throw shot every night. The one and only Don McClain. Speaking of game time, I mean, the last 90 seconds took a half hour last night, and yeah. Van Gundy was on top of it every time and was was really uh, making sense with everything he said, and he predicted the DeAndre Ay Ayton play as well. He, he was really on point. But does the NBA care? I mean, do they think it's intriguing with the, everybody watching the, the slow motion with the two fingertips on the ball? Do they kind of like that? I, I've always felt like, P, there should be a time limit on replays. I get it that, that some of them are tougher than others. But, like, and even be generous with the time limit. Give them a minute and a half or give them two minutes. But you can't have the seven-minute replay. You right. just can't. I mean, it right. kills the game. Everyone's, you know, mad about it. No one wants to watch it. And so these officials, if they're that good, and they are that good, and I know they take a lot of incoming as well, but for me, when I, I cover college and pro, watch the college officials versus the NBA officials, yeah. and you won't be complaining yeah. about NBA officials anymore. Yeah. And so give them, a t give them a time limit, give them a time limit, and then that's it. you got to make a decision. Whether it's right or wrong, you have to make a decision. If of all the, you know, and I know this isn't easy to do. Obviously, you're part of the Clippers broadcast, but if you're if you're to put your finger on kind of maybe what the most egregious error was that led to that loss last night, is it the missed free throws? Is it Demarcus Cousins just having zero interest in, in trying to defend the inbounds, or is it the lack of a shift or lack of a, a switch on that play that Monty Williams drew up, uh, where Batum yeah. and, and Zubats could have could have kind of done a handoff there. Well, let, let's say this first, Matt, that not one play decides a game. Right. It's all everything that leads up to it. But if I had to, and I hate to say it, PG makes both those free throws, game's probably over. Right. Because now you can foul. 
with the clock being low like it was, you can foul, put him on the line, it becomes a free throw game, and you probably win. <clears throat> if he makes one, you probably still win. And I hate to say that because it's PG, but – and I told my kid this this morning. We were talking about driving somewhere, and I said, you know, that's why free throws are so important. And you hear this when you start playing as a kid. Like, you have to be able to execute at the foul line to, to close games. And a perfect example was last night. You know, some people are complaining that LeBron's out and that the playoffs don't have some of the superstars or the star power. KD's out now, Harden's out, Kyrie. But I, I find this to be refreshing, yes. I guess. Uh, I just read that off Matt's hot dog box, but it's how I feel. Refreshing. Yeah, enjoy that refreshing new feeling of new teams in, in the playoffs. Uh, are you enjoying it as a basketball man? I think it's great. Well, first of all, I don't usually equate refreshing with eating a hot dog, so that's a little bizarre. It says it, it really says of, refreshing on the side of your hot dog enjoy box. Enjoy that refreshing new feeling. Huh. Yeah, figure that one out, right? Um, I, yeah, I'm with you, P. If it's compelling, everyone's going to watch it. It doesn't. Yes, you want the star players involved, but if they're not, you want great games, great series, games coming down to the wire. Like I'm pretty sure no one turned off their TV last night watching. Suns Clippers, whether you hate the Suns, hate the Clippers, or both, you're watching the end of that thing. And I think that's what everyone wants in the postseason, no matter what sport it is. You want compelling drama. Who's going to make the plays to win the games? Do you like Milwaukee, Don? Not the team, the city. No, God, no. Okay. Sorry. All right, what, about the all what, what about the team? What about the box? You like the box? I like a lot about the Bucks. I don't like the way Giannis plays, so here we go again. I don't really oh, love no. the way Giannis plays. He needs to be able to space the floor and, t and take and make open shots. Him driving in, and when he can't finish, he just flings it out to hopefully somebody being open. That That's not good basketball, and I understand how great he is and how talented he is and how he's dominated games. But when we get to the playoffs, it happens every year. Teams figure out how to wall up on him so he can't finish at the rim. Now – in a late clock situation, he's got to just toss it out to somebody. Hopefully they're open. A lot of times they're not. And now Milwaukee's taking a contested three. So we'll see if they can get past the next round. Atlanta's been much better defensively than people thought they'd be. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm, I love Giannis because, and I've said this from day one, if you were to build a basketball player, it would look like Giannis. It would. One exactly like Giannis. Now as you do is add a jumper. And now you got the greatest basketball player in the history of the world. Don McLean, uh, sharing insight after a tough, tough loss for the Clips. 0.8 seconds left. They are up by one and yet a perfectly executed inbounds from the it. baseline alley-oop. Uh, Jay Crowder to DeAndre Ayton. And they are in once again, as they were the first and second round, a 0-2 pull. Perhaps the series will end up as each of those did. Uh, oh, by the way, real quick, because you worked with John Collins. Does he always want to get into a fight with somebody? He's just got perennial, I want to fight someone face every time I watch those Hawks games. By the way, the best post-game t-shirt in the history of post-game <laughs> yes. pressure, pressures. I <laughs> exactly. mean, literally the best ever. Um, no. And when I had him, one of the biggest issues we talked about was his toughness huh. and him playing with more physicality and him being tougher and accepting physicality and delivering it. And so we started the path of that. I'm not taking credit for anything he's done, but Take it. no, he was, he, he started, that's when his physicality and wanting to fight people, I think started. Love it. Well, Don McLean's always wanted to fight people and Still does. We, we love him. <laughs> and he is our friend here on the show. Check him out at where it's snake on Twitter, where he does not tweet and he will be in on Monday for me. Uh, thank you, Don. We love you. All right, guys, have fun. See All you. right, there he goes, Don McClain. We're still rolling on the virtual Chevy Summer Tour. How about Wacko, Wacko and Social Matt? Sweet graphic. Don McClain on the phone. If you were watching on YouTube like or that. Facebook Live. Nice touch, guys. That, I mean, I felt nice like touch. Scott Van Pelt, right? I mean, it was wild. Pretty sweet. And I, I sent out a tweet of the, the hot dog refreshing, refreshing moniker. It's because it's a Coca-Cola brand box. So they're talking about Coca-Cola being refreshing. Not the hot dogs. But... Well, you tell me, what's more refreshing, Coca-Cola or a hot dog? For me, it's the dog. Absolutely. For Ronnie, it's, he's had three. <laughs> we'll be back with Sweet James Bergener. Make sure you sign up to win that Chevy Silverado. What are we giving away here? The Burke Williams? 
Are we giving away Ooh. the bird? You better stay tuned. You on, know what? We'll do, it at the, we'll do it at the end of the three-minute segment. So get over to YouTube right now or Facebook. We're giving away a Burke Williams Spa gift certificate. So get over to YouTube and 570 LA Sports channel because that's how we're going to give it away right there with a trivia question. <laughs> Log on right now and enter to win the brand new Chevy Silverado. Amp570LASports.com slash Chevy or just click and you could be the next big winner. We've given away eight trucks. Eight. Everybody, we are back, and we hope you're watching on YouTube or Facebook with an opportunity to win during the PMS Chevy Virtual Summer Tour. And while Matt eats his uh, second hot dog, I've had two. The hot dog count is Roddy's had three. Uh, Brian Blackmore had one. Kate, did you have a hot dog? Yeah, had, had two. Two. Social Matt, two. One. Wacko, zero. Why? Some of that, Wacko. Too busy, but he is having a Kieran light. Yeah, two beers, one hot, zero hot dogs. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Uh, and we appreciate all of you being with us. This is the segment we're giving away a Burke Williams gift card. Can you name the movie where Tom Cruise's ex-wife, one of Matt's favorites, gets massaged for hours and hours by the guy from FX Good one. and Cocktail? Can you name the movie? Where Tom Cruise's ex-wife, his first wife, Mimi Rogers, right? Exactly right. Mimi Rogers. What is the name of the movie that she gets her breasts massaged so hard by the English guy from FX? Hey, and, man, these are good prizes. And bonus you can't question. Just give away for nothing. There's you know real trivia here. That's man. an easy one because you gave a lot of hints. So, bonus question: Did Petro see the movie? Or did he see portions of the movie on a particular website? And what website would that be that he saw those portions of the movie on? Well, I've seen the movie and I've revisited uh, the most uh, exciting clips on MrSkin.com. Oh, oh. And uh, listen, uh, the thing is, you know, we're talking about a natural person. You know, we're not talking about some some fake BS. You know, we're talking about a real. There's still two movie, in there. A movie of the flesh. Oh, you want another hot dog there, Blackmore? Get it, Blackmore. Hey, come on in here. Get yourself a hot dog. Uh, so give us a call. What's the movie where Mimi Rogers gets her boobs massaged? 866-987-2570. Oh, you think trivia here is going to be easy? This ain't the loose cannons. The punk-ass trivia. I got a Heisman vote. Yeah, who do you think? Who's the greatest Padre catcher of all time? Uh, <laughs> 866-987-2570. We got Burke Williams Spa, uh, and uh, you're going to have a Mimi Rogers experience at Burke Williams. Exactly right. Oh, do the read. The uh, Oh, who wants to win a free spa day at Burke Williams? Experience exclusivity with a 50-minute Vitality Massage, the first ever massage with B12. Enjoy the revitalizing benefits of B12 in a relaxing spa environment. I like to be touched. Transferred through touch and absorbed directly into the skin. An exclusive experience fuses traditional techniques. With a combination of innovative remedies to support energy, immune health, positive mood, and whole health uh, restoration. We have a positive mood today because of our tank top. You want uh, details? Visit BurkeWilliams.com slash Vitality. All right. Coming up next, the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. He's going to do like a UFC fighting thing. Like that. Not all personal injury law firms are the same. Experience counts. Results matter. If your case is important to you, call us now for a free consultation.
live from the Log on right now and enter to win the brand new Chevy Silverado. Amp570LASports.com slash Chevy or just click and you could be the next big winner. We've given away eight trucks, eight. On AM570 LA Sports, live everywhere. Not only on the iHeartRadio app, but more importantly for this conversation, because it is the fourth stop of our Petros and Money Chevy Virtual Summer Tour, live on YouTube, live on Facebook Live. Get to the AM570 LA Sports Facebook page or YouTube channel. Tune in because there is a visual component to this conversation right now. And the component is so visual, it's mind blowing. Lawnmower man style. <laughs> and it'll blow your mind to know how much that insurance company is going to try to take advantage of you if you've been in an accident. They're not going to treat you the way you should be treated, but that man is the guy with the beautiful dense beard that spells justice if you shaved it down. 800 500 5200, the greatest personal injury attorney that ever lived, awarded best attorneys in America. Here to talk pool and beach safety. And uh, exotic animals and what you oh, can yeah. own. Our dear friend, Sweet James Bergener, a longtime friend and lover of the Petros and Money Show, not to mention the Chevy Summer Tour. And go ahead and click on to that icon and sign up to win that Chevy while we're talking to Sweet James. What's poppin', Sweet James? How are you? 
I'm doing well. I, uh, I'm here in Abbey Road, but I thought we were doing a tribute to the Beatles, not a, a pool beach thingy. Quick, name five Beatles songs. Uh, let it be. No, 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 that's, that's it. Enough. Enough. Right, that's enough. Enough. Shut up. Shut up. That's enough. <laughs> Wait, let me change. Let me change. Where's your tank top, James? Come on. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. yeah. There we nice. go. Yeah. yeah. There we go. How's that? Oh, 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 oh. very oh. nice. All right, sweet James. Uh, let's talk about it. Now, I'm doing, yeah. uh, I'm at the beach here in uh, Amity uh, where the, the shark ate everybody. You see all the terrified white people coming <laughs> out of the water. Uh, let's say that there's a shark. Uh, at the beach, and I, in a frenzy, try to exit the beach, and I trample somebody uh, in my fear and frenzy. Can I be sued by the person that I trampled? There was a shark in the water. You uh, might, but probably not. We have circumstances, so yeah. Was there really a shark in the water? Yeah. Then you're well, okay. Fair question. I mean, look well, at everybody panicked. Fact, everybody freaked out. out. If I trample somebody in a public panic, is that you on me? Could. It could be. <laughs> okay let's try this one on Depends you see <laughs> james you see what's behind me a bunch of weirdos let's say we're in the pool having a good time playing marco polo right okay. someone's going marco and i'm going polo marco polo that's usually let's say, how it's played right and i got my eyes closed right and someone decides they're gonna have a little fun with me okay right and while my eyes are closed they're gonna pants me right in front of everybody <laughs> else at the party <laughs> All right. That's assault. Now, right? Now, let's say, but they're all yes, friends, you know, and we're all grabbing ass right. all afternoon long. But let's say, you know, my wife, we get in the car and she's like, hey, I'm not into that. I'm not into what just happened. All those people at that party got to see your junk and that's not cool. And I want out. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> now done. I'm being sued for divorce. <laughs> Can I hold that man responsible? Does he now have to pay my wife half of my assets? Uh, no, probably not. That's not Is it assault? Happen. Is it assault if yeah. he pants me? Yeah. An unwanted touching. Yes, that's exactly what it is. So will he have to register as a sex offender? <laughs> oh, yeah, we could get a sexual crime in there. That would, the district attorney would have to prosecute that to get it there. But, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a distinct possibility. Okay. All right, well, here's something, yeah. you know, about the pool that I know that you can't answer. Fine. Okay. You've never had anybody trampled on the beach because I haven't had weird. anybody trampled on the beach. Uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. You know, maybe, maybe that was my fault to start out with. <laughs> You know, like when I started Lynn to come out with the weed question. But let's do this. Uh, and this has happened all over the place. Okay. You have a pool. You invite people over. There's a pool party. Some drunk idiot adult runs in your, you know, you're not that acquainted with the person, but they're at your home. They fall. Yeah. They crack their kneecap into a thousand pieces. Mm, and now they bad. sue you because yeah. they were on your property at your party, enjoying your hospitality, yeah. swimming in your pool. Now, it, yeah. somebody could call you with that case. What happens? What did they trip on? Why did they slip and fall? If they just tripped over their own feet, they don't have a case. But if they tripped over some water or somebody spilled some punch there, they, they would have a case. They slipped in water that people were splashing out of the pool playing Marco Polo or something? That's a known hazard, James. That's, That's a known true. hazard. That's you take on that risk, risk. But, I mean, you have signs up there that say don't run. Don't run in the water. I don't like where this is going. James I is not cooperating either. with us. I really don't. I don't, I, all right. I don't like this. When it comes to the beach <laughs> and pools, uh, I think James is very serious. And uh, he's hey. not messing around, you know. Like, you play with the ocean, you're going to end yeah. up losing. Right. And, and we've learned those. Uh, how many people call you every summer about, like, pools and things like that and crack my head open, diving into the shallow end kind of crap? None of that, but we do get slip and falls from uh, people going to pool parties and uh, being stupid. Yeah. But I would imagine that there's a tremendous amount of bitterness then from the homeowner. Like, I had you in my home, and now you're going to sue me just because your leg fell off? Yeah, and it's usually it's just because your leg fell off. Yeah, and it's usually like horseplay, messing around, stupid stuff like that. Hey, uh, and, James, uh, do you call, you uh, do, you, do you lawyer types, do you call slip and falls SAFs? Oh, that's a sad. No. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get today? I got a couple sass. I got some got settled a sass today. Yeah. And like hit and runs or like hars. <laughs> What'd you get? Oh, I got a couple of hars. <laughs> All right, try this one on James. Let's see if okay. we can get one. Let's see if we can get one to work out for the Petros and Money Show. All right. Because we got what? the hot dog. We got the hot dog box here. Okay. Mag so let's say that's magic hot dog box. So let's say we're making hot dogs and we know much like steak, 
you don't chew up that dog, it can get lodged in your throat. Yes, it's the yes, perfect yeah. size to get lodged in your throat. Yeah, yeah. So let's say someone's at my house eating hot dogs and they don't know how the hell to eat. They're just too excited by how delicious these hot dogs are. And they get a piece of that dog lodged in their throat. Now we're not going to kill them. Okay, how about this? Piece of hot dog lodged in their throat. Somebody has to die. In no, no, no. Petros They're not going to die. Come on. Petros is going to perform. So I cooked the hot dog. I do the Petros, Heimlich. Break the rib. He does the Heimlich. Ooh, I like and he, it. Exactly. Okay. And he breaks a rib. But their Ooh, life yeah. has been saved. They want to sue me for giving them the hot dog. They want to sue Petros for cracking the rib. What happens? Oh, this is, isn't that how Incredibles 2 started out? Like, sued somebody for saving a life? Trying to kill themselves? Uh, Petros. You'd be fine. You'd be fine, brother. You can break... Break some ribs, baby. Really? Samaritan. Yes. Good Samaritan what? laws. I'm going to protect that. Protect okay. What about, uh, what what about, about me uh, for grilling the dog? dog? You're fine too, money. Yeah. Petros and money walks away scot-free. 800, 500, 50, 200 to I find out if you out. have a case with Sweet James Bergener. 800, 500, 50, 200. A Pudo tank top lifestyle. He tried out Abbey Road and uh, now he's back on the beach. He's got uh, we love on you, the Sweet beach. James. <laughs> And we got more great sports talk to come a whole nother hour before we start Padres Dodger. Again, don't go anywhere. Get on the YouTube. Get on the Facebook. We may be going to commercial on AM570 LA Sports, but we are not. We are right back at it on video. YouTube, Facebook, AM570 LA Sports channels. Win you tickets to Clippers playoff game three. Win you tickets to see the Dodgers. And a big thank you to Sweet James, the dense beard of justice. 800 500 5200 Log on right now and enter to win the brand new Chevy Silverado. Amp570LASports.com slash Chevy or just click and you could be the next big winner. We've given away eight trucks. Eight. We up? We up? Kate's uh, asked an interesting question there during the uh, during the last couple minutes. He yeah. wondered if uh, Sweet James got a little miffed at us when we tried the old Pat O'Brien name ten B. Oh, like he didn't know the and the joke. Scream! Shut up at him! All right, shut up! And maybe he was taken aback by that. And, and an inside joke uh, really gone wrong. I guess we don't. Guys, how many inside jokes can you do in one show? Like, I mean, this whole damn show was an inside joke. The last guy we want to upset is Sweet James Bergener, the dense spirit of justice. Now, we have another dilemma. We have three more of these bullshit charade things we do here. Right. And uh, I'm tired of it. And if we go back out, we're not doing this. That's how about this? Three minutes every... That, it, Commercial it free, like three o'clock minutes. hour. What do you think? We what just we? say the same stuff over yeah. Sign up to win the Chevy, am570lasports.com, keyword Chevy. Which we want you to do. But we're changing tank tops, so that's kind of cool. You, you know, are. Wardrobe change. I mean, I only got three. Matt came here with every tank top available in Southern California. I did. I left two on the side of the road. I had so many. <laughs> I don't need these. But, uh, even more unfortunate is that I think we have said Sweet James. I can see that. And for those of you who don't know, we'll say it again. Pat O'Brien used to tell people to name 10 Beatles songs, and that's how he would judge their character. And if you started, clearly... You know, if you were going to be able to do it, he didn't want to hear it. He would just tell you to shut up. Yeah. Hey, Wacko, name 10 Beatles songs. 10 Beatles songs? He can't yeah. do it. Can you name three Beatles songs? My mind's blank right now. All right. All right that's All right. right. I see that guy, that guy. Yeah, that but, see, you have to, but see, it doesn't work unless the guy says song. Right. So we have to go. What about uh, Social Matt? Social Matt? Okay. No. Out. All no. right, uh, Kate's name ten oh, Beatles songs. Daddy Rose. And that's an that's album. An album. The uh the White Album. Uh, <laughs> meet the Beatles. I'll do it. Uh, Matt, ask me. Ask me the question. Petros, name ten Def Leppard songs. Hysteria. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's how it goes. How the joke goes. And uh, it might be that Sweet James didn't didn't understand. Oh, man. The Giants took a lead on the Angels on the top of the 12th. Sure. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Sure. 
Thanks a lot, Angels. Uh, okay, so whoever can name 10 Beatles songs on on 866-987-2570. Yeah, Kate's can do one margarita, two margarita, but he Three can't name a Beatles song. Uh, Let's say five. Uh, five. Abby Ro- I, I, I want to hold, hold her your hand. hand. Five Beatles songs. Let's say five. If you can name five Beatles songs. The, Kate's probably, doesn't know. But, okay, forget it. We're not giving away anything then. Because we don't have anything to give away this segment anyway. It was all a lie. Works out for me. Nothing says summertime like Japanese beer, Kieran beer, a delicious beer, endorsed by the Petros and Money Show from Japan, K Viva Japon, long live Japan. Not all personal injury law firms are the same. Experience counts, results matter. If your case is important to you, Call us now for a free consultation. Live from the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank, this is Petros and Money. A pool party fans, but come on now. Coming up will be a pool party haiku just for you. And I want to thank everybody God, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. AM570 Sports, Chevy Summer Tour Stop. Chevy, thank you so much. Petrol said money. You. Thank you, guys. AM570, I cannot thank you guys enough. Home of the Dodgers, guys. Thank you since 2007. We love you guys. AM570. Know this. Know this. No pandemic, political climate. That's how it oh. feels. Now we are a bunch of wine coffins. Yeah, I'm a clown too. Way to go, you hurt their feelings, you know that? Excuse me? Terrible. Yeah, I'm not gay, so just, it's, it's a lot of people who are. are. I don't gotta listen to this shit. Some things were good before, and some things never were. Talking it out, Vic. Petros and Money, AM570 LA Sports. Live the game. On the iHeart Radio app, but more importantly, right now, live on YouTube and Facebook Live. It is the fourth stop for the Petros and Money Chevy Summer Tour. A big thank you to Chevy. Win that Silverado. Go to AM570 LA Sports.com. Home stretch, wacko. Chevy. Last hour, win a Chevy. Be one of our eight tour stop finalists or one of our four online finalists. A one in 12 chance, if you're a finalist, to win a new truck if your name has not been chosen yet you can keep signing up Sign up multiple times do it am 570 la sports.com slash chevy a big thank you to sweet james just join us in the last segment if you've been injured in an accident please call sweet james accident attorneys the first call you make not your insurance company not your mom not your wife sweet james 800 500 5200 make that first on your list chef merito the official seasoning of pms and kieran beer Japan's prime beer. Delicious. Explore enjoyment. And a big thank you to Sweet James, like Matt said. A big thank you to Don McLean, who joined us on the telephone in the last hour. And a huge. On the telephone? Muchas gracias to East Los Belvedere Park's own Oscar De La Hoya, who. Was here in person. In person. Gave away a bunch of tickets to the Zurdo Barrera fight. In the zone. On the zone. At Banco Popular. At, uh, exactly, the Bank of California Stadium, or Bank of California. Banco Popular. Stadium in downtown Los Angeles. And then he's going to fight uh, Vitor Belfort, too. September. So we had all of that on. You can uh, podcast it on the iHeartRadio app, or check it out on YouTube, because it will be up when we are done. Now. We didn't give away anything in the last segment. We lied because we only have two more things to give away, but they are significant things. Uh, One is Dodger tickets to a future Dodger game, and the other are tickets to one of the upcoming Clippers Suns playoff games at Staples. Game three tomorrow. To be specific. Game three tomorrow. We'll give those away in either this next break or the break after. All you got to do is log on to YouTube or Facebook in the AM570 LA Sports feed. That's That's what's happening. So we got that going on. We do. 
And that's the rest of the show for the last hour, along with a lot of great sports talk. And that brings us to the final hour. It's fun fact. In effect, it's the hour three. Fun fact. There we go. Fun it fact. is tank top tour stop day. So the etymology of tank top. Let's go. It comes thanks to the introduction of women's swimming to the Olympic Games in 1912. Oh, I love seeing that. You know, that's what Kate's kind of bathing suit Kate's wears. That's right. When he's up at Carpinteria, he wears an old-timey bathing yes, suit. Yes, a 1912 women's bathing suit. And Leslie wears a lot of garments, you know, into the water. Back in 1912, we did not refer to them as swimming pools. Instead, we called them swimming tanks. And because you just couldn't go out there in 1912 showing your ass crack no, not with your cleavage, tees, with your tees out. the ladies had swimsuits that were pretty much shirts with no sleeves and then cut under the shoulder for the good arm flexibility in the Olympics. And they still wore shorts to cover their thighs on the bottom. But the tops, well, they caused a little controversy. They were considered immodest because they were cut where oh, you could yeah. see a tiny bit of cleavage see and it. maybe even a little side boob there. Them things, them things. So as the local rags were doing their pieces on this newfound controversy with the introduction of women swimming in 1912 Olympics, they called them tank tops. Nice. Good etymology. We All are right. your etymology show of record. We're your bathing beauty show of record. Damn right. We're your Esther Williams show of record. It's time for the quick hits, everybody. The PMS quick hits. I'll make it quick, y'all. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. We made it kind of a basketball show. The Dodgers are getting punked. Hard. In San Diego. Hard. 44 and 29 on the season. They lost last night. First pitch is at 710. There is help on the way, though. They've activated Cody Bellinger from the 10-day injured list and optioned infielder Andy Burns to AAA OKC. Angels are hosting the Giants as we speak. They are in the bottom of the 12th. There are no outs. Of course, in extras, there was a man on second, and the Angels currently trail the Giants 2-1. to one. The Dodgers are only a game and a half up on the Padres right now after the two wins. We'll get into that a little bit more on the top story of the day in our very next segment, but it has been a rough go. The Dodgers have had a rough patch when it comes to playing the pods. Los Angeles teams are suffering. Indeed they are. Clippers and Phoenix Suns. Game three of the Western Conference Final Series is tomorrow. Tip off at 6 on AM 1150. Chris Paul has cleared COVID protocols. Guess he'll never have to apologize for a damn thing now. Had they lost that game, he might have had to have apologized. Perhaps you barked up the wrong tree. Yet. Son of a bitch. I don't know, Matt. I don't know. I've it'll, been foiled. It'll all come out at some point. As always. Uh, the Boston Celtics are finalizing an agreement with Brooklyn Nets assistant Ime Udoka. To make him their new coach, it was thought to be between Chauncey Billups and Udoka. Udoka, long-time assistant under Greg Popovich in San Antonio, most recently under Brett Brown in Philadelphia with the 76ers. Let's talk about the Olympics that nobody cares. Team USA basketball roster now finalized. <laughs> For Tokyo, Kevin Durant going for his third gold medal, the only returning member of the 2016 team that won gold at the Rio Olympics. But we do have a number of all-stars playing in their first ever Olympics. Dame time. Dame time. Bradley Beal. Bam. Adebayo. Jason Tatum. Draymond Green. And our old friend. Did we ask him if he could make love to one particular Subway sandwich or if he wanted to date a certain Subway sandwich? Which would he do when Kevin Love used to come on with us pretty regularly when he was at UCLA? It was lovemaking. It was, right? Yes. I believe his answer. Because nobody made love to a bacon cheeseburger in those no. days like me. I mean, I just, I mean, I just, no, oh, I love you. And remember, he gave us a very <laughs> thoughtful answer. He worked through it. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I think he settled on tuna. We thought we were a lot better friends with uh, Kevin Love than we were. We think we're a lot better friends with everybody. There's no we are. He loves us. Otis, <laughs> there's no DNA. There's no DNA in that tune. No. And there's no tune in that DNA. Damn right. To the NFL. The league will start accepting bids from other cities besides Indianapolis to host the Scouting Combine. They will take it on tour as they do the draft now. Starting in 2023, the Combine will be there in 2022, which is odd because really all the teams care about at the Combine is the medical and Indianapolis happens to have a world renowned and respected medical facility right there in the crossroads of America. That's very easy for all of these team doctors to get to and check out all these players. So I don't know. 
I guess they appreciate that the league can make money off this and let people in to watch the guys run 40s and three cone drills. But I think the teams are probably like, yeah, yeah. It's not for you. We just we just want to get the medicals. And this has really worked pretty well for the last 30 years. Something you said, Matt, got under somebody's skin, it seems, about the personal injury world. As a uh, Southern American, you said something that got up underneath my skin. It's about Sweet James. Yes. Very sorry your late husband didn't call you as he was bleeding out post-car crash. He obviously had to call me first. <laughs> he asked me to tell you he loved you very much. Also, sorry for your loss. Though, unfortunately, he was at fault. And I'll be representing the other party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, corrections and retractions from Isabel. Damn it, what I do, Izzy. I don't know. I don't know if she's right. Corrections and retractions. Pete, tell Matt that the Dodgers are three games back. The Padres are three games back of the Dodgers? I don't know. Man. Maybe she misunderstood me. I said currently, I believe, the Padres are a game and a half back of the Dodgers. Is that the case? Maybe they're three. I don't know. What the hell? Isabel's on it. Hey, at least the Angels have tied it up at two. Against the Giants, who are in first place. That's happening right now. And we'll be back to talk about other things. Hold on. I'm going to the standings real quick so I can con uh, correct and retract immediately. So you can be on top of Isabel and just hold her to it and be like, you're wrong, Isabel. Right? Yeah, Isabel. Yeah, Isabel. The Padres are a game and a half back of the Dodgers, which is exactly what I said. If they sweep them, they're only going to be a half game back, and the Dodgers are only going to be a half game out of third place. Yeah. Come on, Izzy. Get with it. Pull your head out of your ass. We should be the Olympics anchors. We're a lot better than freaking Costas with pink eye. Damn right. Punk ass uh, sausage fingers to Rico. Down to Bob Newmeyer. <laughs> so tell me, uh, Michael Johnson, uh, what were you thinking when you came around the turn and you saw it was just clear sailing right in front of you there to the finish line? Can't breathe, Bob. <gasps> well, <laughs> I thought I might be able to. <laughs> Take your time. Take your time, Michael. <gasps> all right, that's all the time we have. We'll be back with the top story of the day. Sign up to win the brand new Chevy Jesus, Silverado. Oh, and we're going to be giving away uh, Dodgers tickets here. So be on YouTube or Facebook. You okay? No. What are you talking about? I forgot to put I forgot to put water in, and it got all hard and gross, and the hot plate. Got Just throw it all hard. out. Throw it all. No, no, no! I don't have to throw it out. Oh God! Sometimes you don't want to see how the sausage is made. What did you do? I forgot to put water in. You were so confident giving hot dogs to everybody. No, I forgot to put water. It's gonna be okay though. It's gonna be okay. Trust me. Hey, I'm not the only one that think Matt looks all swole on TV, huh? I mean, Matt looks like freaking Randy Couture. Yeah.
He's like Ken Shamrock. What do you want to give away? Dodger tickets, Matt. We have the Dodger tickets to give away here to an upcoming Dodger game as the Angels and Giants are tied up 2-2 two to two with Luis Ren Rengifo. Rengifo? Right? All he's got to do is hit a sack fly, and Dodgers have a chance to make up a game on the Giants. So they're three back. All right, let's go, Rengifo. Oh, it could be a two-game swing here. When Giants I say lose, Ren, Dodgers you win. say Gifo. Ren! Gifo! Ren! Gifo! Hey, Gifi. Hey, Gifi. I didn't even know her. All right. You can't get salmonella from hot dogs. They're already cooked. So you're true? saying that I ate an uncooked dog? No, someone's saying Matt Salmonella Smith. I'm like, no, just, it might taste gross, you know, because the hot plate got all weird. But I think it's going to be all right. It's going to start steaming here. Yeah, look, it's already steaming. Steaming Willie Beeman. It's going to start steaming here. All right. Uh, the question is. Look at this BS. Oh, they throw home. Did, he beat it. He beat it. Yeah, Ren Figo. Ren Figo. What's the question? Here comes Kapler, all swole. He's oh, going to challenge. Who was the pitcher? Who was the pitcher at Angels in the outfield who also started? Who's the boss? Love it. Call her five. Eight six six nine eight seven two five seven. All right. All right, it's another year and another Petros and Money Chevy Summer Tour. Thanks so much for being with us. We cannot thank you enough because of your participation last year and so far this year. We get to keep doing this, so stick around. We're giving a lot of huge prizes away, plus some more great sports talk still to come. It's the Petros and Money Chevy Summer Tour. Live from the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank, this is Petros and Money. Hi, Colin here. It's time for World Champion Dodger Baseball on your home of the Dodgers, AM570 LA Sports. Dodgers Baseball is on the air and on your phone. Stream all the games on the iHeartRadio app and get all our exclusive Dodger podcasts as well. Just listen to AM570 LA Sports every game all season long. Not all personal injury law firms are the same. Experience counts. Results matter. If your case is important to you, Call us now for a free consultation. Ryan here, executive chef at Dodger Stadium. And one thing I love is watching all the fans go to the taqueria to get Chef Morito's carne asada nacho helmet. And now I'm going to show you how to take it from Dodger Stadium to your home. Hey Dodger fans, we're gonna make this fan favorite using Chef Morito's carne asada seasoning. Chef Morito is a proud seasoning partner of the Dodgers. Let's get started. Preferably you wanna marinate the meat for 20 to 30 minutes to really enhance the flavors. I like to marinate mine overnight to just make it even that much better. So you just wanna set your grill to medium heat. It helps you control your cooking and not overcook the meat. I love using Chef Merito's carne asada seasoning because the blend of garlic, paprika, and citrus give a rich and bold, authentic flavor. Chevy is America's fastest growing full line brand, and people are taking it everywhere. Taking Trailblazer outdoors, confidently taking on new places with Equinox, and taking on more with Silverado. Whatever you do, there's a perfect Chevy to take you anywhere. Find your perfect Chevy and get 0% financing for 72 months on select popular Chevy SUVs. Or get 10% of MSRP cash back on most 2021 Equinox models. Suffered from the earthquake, 3.4 in El Segundo. We didn't even feel it. We're too busy trying to fix Matt's hot dog water. <laughs> Chocolate starfish. 
and the hot dog flavored water. We still have to give away Clipper tickets for game three tomorrow night on AM 570. Oh, AM 1150. And we have tickets to give away at Staples Center during the YouTube or Facebook component of our show coming up at the break. And we hope you're watching and enjoying the PMS Virtual Chevy Summer Tour on YouTube or Facebook. You can log on and win a brand new Chevy Silverado. We give one away every summer. Thank you to all our sponsors, including Kieran Beer, Sweet James Bergener, Chef Merito, and of course, our dear friends at Chevrolet, makers of the brand new Chevy Silverado, the best-selling full-size pickup in all of California. It's now time for the top story of the day. Top story of the day. Featuring Vin day. Diesel from well, Fast and the Furious, yeah. Matt Money Smith. The only I weighs me by about 100 pounds. Mean Mug Swole. You got the call. You got the call this morning to defend the city of Los Angeles after a gut-wrenching, kick in the balls, humiliating, palm in the face, 0.8 seconds left on the clock. Alley oop the DeAndre Ayton loss by the Clippers. I did a poor job defending the city. That's the way to do it. And our honor. By the way, that's the way to do it. I'm never going to go on and be like, oh, yeah, like Tim Cates when the Red Sox were beating up on the Dodgers in the World Series. Right. And Cates was like, oh, I think the Dodgers got it. The guy's like, you suck, you idiot. That guy's dead. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, he, that, that guy's dead. He passed away. That guy that we piled on saying, who the hell you think you are, old man, going after Tim Cates like that, he's dead now. It's regrettable. Exactly right. You went on a radio show in Phoenix this morning. Uh, Wolfie and Dan and, and the Wolfman. And Doug. <laughs> Doug and Wolf Lee. Cactus and the jet ski. Uh, <laughs> now, that may be great fodder and great sports talk for the city of Phoenix. Great sports talk. But here in L.A., as your home of the Dodgers and your home of the Clippers, what's worse? It's a loaded question. No doubt. Now, here inside this room, and by inside this room, I mean there are two rooms one connected, one with Tim Cates and Ronnie Fascio, dedicated Dodger fan Ronnie Fascio, dedicated Dodger employee, well, sort of Dodger employee, Tim Cates. He hosts Dodgers on Wish deck. he would have got a ring. Sh he should have. Yeah. And Don he Martin should've. is here. Don Martin. Our was, boss. Oh, he was poking his, his face through the portal window. I mean, now he's, he's one of the, the most full. powerful sports talk radio people on earth. You know what? Like, if you need it, I here. mean... Boss, come here real quick. Ooh, come you're going to bring quick. Don Martin on? Let's bring him on. You're going to ask him which is worse? Because I think this is a great question. Are you going to ask Don, him yeah. the question? Don programs the station. He is the the man who runs Fox Sports Radio. It's Don Martin. Nationally, for those of you listening. Like, if who's 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 on the top of the totem pole in sports talk? He's on Don Martin's speed dial. Right. Colin Cowherd. Exactly. Dan Patrick. They asked Don for advice. Hell, Don hired Clay Travis, who's now taken over for Rush Limbaugh, for God's sakes. How about that? We're talking about, We're talking a, about mover, power. a mover and a shaker. The, the, exactly. most, the most impressive hire I ever made in my entire career. Okay, 26 years with this company. Yeah, Clay Travis. Pedros and Money. King, <clears throat> Kingmaker. That's you, Don. That's right. We can't you know thank what? you enough for that. We're, we're very fortunate to be in the star making business. But all we can do is uh, <laughs> yeah. is allow guys that are superstars to shine. So when whole, I get up so in the morning, we just, we just and wear say, tank tops. Hey, when we I get up in the morning, uh, show up like this and just come on in and entertain America. You know, when I get up in the morning, uh, I put on my pants one leg at a time, and after that, I make AM radio stars. <laughs> That's exactly. Right. Only That's the only is, difference. First of all, it's I not put those pants on. It's spoken word. I mean. We're in the middle. Oh, here we we're, go. We are not yes. AM guys. I this mean, is the you, digital era. Have, have you not right. listened to this show or the on iHeart uh, Radio? On the iHeart Radio app on uh, ninety-eight point I mean, seven HD two. That's better than it FM. does sound better. It really oh, it's does. Sound fantastic. And, you're not on AM radio, dude. You're uh, you're broadcasting. You're, this is audio. It's, it's a not it's a simulcast. You remember when uh, hacksaws? You remember when hacksaws hot headlines were relegated to the internet? And his way to cope with that was by saying. Hacksaw's hot headlines have gone global. Why do you want to say that? Why you got to be that way? Because he just did it to us. Because we were like, we're on AM, like and he was like, nine yes. <laughs> <laughs> Now, don't you have something you wanted to ask? I do. What? As the man who programs this station, yes. we own both play-by-play -play properties, the yes. Clippers and the Dodgers. Yes. What had you more upset last night? Losing the second of three and guaranteeing another series loss to the Padres. In June. In June. But through not through nine games, the Dodgers are three and six against the Padres. Do you guys have a Don Martin Chiron for under him? Oh, that'd be awesome. Can you no. can you build one? What the hell are you Did doing? Did you see his reaction when he looked at the camera? Like, wow, he looked at the left and he goes, out of my he, ear. He turns to social media and he goes, oh! <laughs> it's like he's got it sticking out of my ear. What is this? Hi, everybody. So so what hurt me? Now, I'm going to tell you. So I what, was, what was more upsetting to you? 
in your heart, in your mind, was it that the Clippers fell down 0-2 after being up by one? God, you look good, Don. Or Yeah, you really do, actually. Man, um, or you know was what? it the Dodger loss? The Clipper loss. Was it really? It was. That one hurt more. You know why it hurt Because you want him on the air on it, Wednesday. No, 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 no. It wasn't even that. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm watching Paul George. Now, the the team doesn't even get to the end of that game without him playing. It's very true. It's not game. one play. And for him to, oh, to so you just felt bad for Paul. crap those two shots. <laughs> I, I, I him right out of reason, poop his the pants. The only reason why it bothered poop me was mouth. because that's all anybody like you guys or anybody in LA is talking about today is that how he blew it. Yeah. And it's like, you blew dang. it, Vic. But here's the second thing. But I, what I want to know about that real quick, and then I'll let you guys get because back look, to you look around the off, talk. you look around yeah, our studio, and it's all Dodger logos. Well, I love the Dodgers, and, but know, I think the Dodgers are still going to win the division. Okay. So right. I'm not worried about that. It's okay. June. So uh, it doesn't bother you. June. You didn't have time for the Padres. I mean, what his. Come on, Tatis, his arm's going to fall off or something. Don't worry about it. It's going to happen. But, but for if if I'm <laughs> sitting there watching that game last night and I'm sitting there going, give, give me two minutes in that Clippers huddle. First of all, I'm putting oh, yeah. those two Listen, big guys. playoff P. Two big guys standing in front of that dotted line. Right. Don't you dare let that ball near exactly. this Exactly. Van Gundy saw it coming, Don. I don't allow my center to get picked off by the smallest guy on the floor. You got to switch. You got to switch, no, damn it. You don't want him to move his feet. Stand right at the dotted line. If that big man shoots one from 18 You're feet, okay with that? It, I'm okay Wide with open, it. even though he's a professional basketball player? He's not going to make Don it. Don, people think you're just a radio he's programmer. He's not going to catch it. Give him your coaching credentials. Shot. Tell him what your coaching credentials are. My coaching credentials yes. are I coach Pedro's and money every That's not single true. day. That's not true. Sports talk. You have basketball coaching in your background. I love it's this noir report you're doing. I love the film noir. That's right. But no, I'm not. No, Don McClellan. Lane does the coaching. All I'm trying to tell you is it didn't take a brain surgeon to figure out. Put those two big guys in front of that dotted exactly line. Exactly right. Don't yeah. give it up. It's well, 0. 0.9 seconds. Yeah. Yes. That's what we were looking what for. What the hell Passion. are we doing? That's what we were looking for. That's the kind of sports talk that people but demand. But they will win tomorrow night. You think so? Yeah. Is that a, We need that guarantee button that Chuck's got. So confetti or ping pong they balls will or something win comes tomorrow off the ceiling. Night. Let's bring it on. Have home. you ever heard of that show I went on today? Oh, they I'm going to be at the game. Don, they love you in the YouTube comment section. Have you ever heard of Wolfie and Doug, the Arizona show I went on today? No. It's supposed to be the, it's sweeping the nation. He's big and feeding. Doug and Wolf Lee. Wolfie. Wolfie. Wolf Lee. Wolf Lee. Wolf Lee. Wolf Lee. Wolf Lee. Wolf Lee. Yeah, they were like, what's it like? What's it like to be a Clipper today? I was like, I'm pretty much the same as always. <laughs> you have to live in Phoenix. <laughs> Just, I mean, I, I, yeah, but he's got to live in Phoenix, 122 degrees. Well, That's I thought you would have known about name. it, you we'll know, see. being the radio we'll man see. that you are. No, it's not real radio. Then. People say they're going to run through a brick wall for you, Don, that you got them all jacked up. Let's go, A lot baby. of my mans. Bring Somebody just, Let's hell go. yeah, I'm pumped up, and I don't even like the damn Clippers. Man, we will both win. <laughs> Somebody yeah. called him uh, Dodgers and Clippers will win. Somebody just called him Radio Blue Chew. <laughs> You know what? I've done a little bit more than that for some people. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you ever done Blue Chew, Don? No. Uh, no? Hey. You want I, some? I have. No. You want some? It'd I've done me. it. Oh, it will kill, kill you, man. Me. No, I won't. Make you feel like a real the man. The only thing that I, happened I once that is I, I accidentally. <laughs> good you want some? I'm good. No, I don't know. All right. It. Accidentally all right, once Matt bent over to pick up his headphones, it poked his eye. <laughs> but other than that. I took know, it at the wrong time. We've had a uh, really good. his two legs are short? Hey, you want to put on a tank top real quick? No, I'm good. You sure? I'm good. Real quick? I'm good. De La Hoya wouldn't do it either. These guys, these guys just do they really you two in like this too? Uh, yeah, well, we, I don't know. I don't think I Matt, one, Matt didn't want to talk about DeAndre Ayton again. Is running on it. That is a great call. What? That is a great call. Will you do this? Oh, DJ Tronic, you're a genius. We regularly uh, mock and rightfully so out those that try to make money on Cameo. The, uh, this, you know, who was it that we were getting after last time? Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner. Arash Markazi. Yeah, Seth Davis. Seth uh, Davis went hard after wow. Seth Davis. Would you start a cameo account? We'll push it on Petros and money. The but, Don Martin. But we're not going to do it. But people can buy cameos from you. Would you from do you. it? And you'd be you like, can, you know, yeah, I, you I, can I, keep the cash. We'll, and, we, we want Messi, no financial stake. Uh, and good. little Scotty, I'm good. Your, your, your dad loves you. The, the he wants only, you to know. <laughs> only cameos I'll make are coming in here on this. Do you know what, can, you do you know what cameo is? No. Okay. So it's a website, cameo.com. Okay, gotcha. Celebrities like 
A-list celebrities. That's, Jen celebrity. Aniston, yeah. Magic Johnson. Okay. But Arash does it. Yeah, so you have from I'm that level. I'm not and Godly. So listen, <laughs> you, you book them, right? Let's say let's say uh, you got Tal, and she loves Jen Aniston. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to give her a birthday present. You book Jen Aniston to get on the camera. And she and does a thing like, where she does Tal, her hair. And I hear she you're a big friend. Clears and her it's voice. actually Jennifer Aniston doing <clears> that. It's wow. me, Jen Aniston. <clears throat> so she charges like three grand for a cameo. Sure, I bet she does. But like if we put you up there for like, 50, 50 cents. 50 bucks to start. How about oh, 20 bucks? 50 bucks. I think 50. Matt's think so? already degrading. Dude. Well, how about $20? I'm just saying, Arash is a superstar. He bought a one-hour radio show in do, San Diego, and he charges 20 what's bucks. What's going to happen why don't is... we do $5.70 for five cents? I, okay. <laughs> well, my thing is, it's going to be like all these aspiring radio types. Like, this is my moment to let Don Martin know about me. And then Don's going to be doing the cameos and be like, it says here that you've been on in Tulsa. On the ticket for about three years. With I Jimmy Bag of Donuts. Yeah, right? it'll be all it. that. It'll be people trying to get an audience with I Don. Will you do it? Do you know? So here we go. Wait, <laughs> Kate says, Will you here. do well, it? Let's he, turn off, he's let, not we'll turn wearing it. headphones. Let we'll turn it. off our mics so you can hear it. Here we go. Gandia. Anyone want to do? No, no, no. Not today. Not in my it, house. It's Matumbo. I'm representing. Matumbo. Susan. And Ryan, it's not they're all waving a no, no, no to you. Happy birthday. Happy 21st birthday. You're a big man now. You can go out and have a beer now. But don't celebrate too much. No. Know that it's your birthday. Okay? Be good up there. This good message was booked by Ryan. It's a good man right what there. What do you think? It's a good man right See here. what I mean? You know Matumbo. He was a nugget. Not in my house. Right? Proceeds Dream Center for the veterans. Exactly. Just remember that. Can you, will we you can do give it? the proceeds away for charity. As long as we give the proceeds away for charity. Done. Guys. Oh. Done. As long as we give it to charity, I got you covered. Done. We're doing it. DJ Tronic, you. you're a genius. Well, we have a lot to, to organize here. Well, you guys do all the organizing. We'll set it I'm going to get out of your show light right now so you can entertain the world. What are these hot dogs? Those yeah, are, that's not Matt's hot no, dog machine. I'm, I'm good. Are you sure they're delicious? They're wow. steamed. We had a little bit of an issue the with the second. Steam. Have you broken anything today? The second batch. Um, did we break anything? We had to repair the windmill. No, but everything's good. Yeah, otherwise. Oh, I threw a Chinese star at the um oh at the, at the, the light chart thing, and it put a little bit of a hole. La 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 la. But I for the most part, it's been a great day. Yeah. And Oscar De La Hoya was here. I Don, saw him. It was fantastic. Don McLean. Yes. Sweet James. All of our sponsors. Kieran Beer. Which is a new sponsor today. And Don Martin Great says Japanese beer, the best, delicious, absolutely. Yeah, we were downing them. Don, Don says uh, Clippers lost more humiliating. Definitely. All right, it wasn't even humiliating; more hurtful, more painful. That's kind of. I'll leave it at that. That's it, what we were wondering. It wasn't humiliating. Where the Dodger station and where the painful. Clippers station. I mean, it hurt the heart, like an in and out catheter. Ooh. Wow. That's a pain. And then, uh, guys, have a day. All right, <laughs> we got uh, Clipper playoff <laughs> tickets to be given away. When we go to commercial, but you got to be on YouTube or you got to be on Facebook Live. You know, that's ratings gold to put Don's face on there. Right. Because a lot of people don't think he's real. And he's as real as the day is long. We actually lost 50 viewers. Heard that. We lost 50? I mean, we're at 355 now. We were up over 400 when we started. And I don't want to tell him that. But... Well, if you stay tuned here... We're going to give away those Clipper tickets. Exactly right. For tomorrow night, you game can, three. You can witness their demise live. Exactly right. God, that hurts. I mean, it hurts. I mean, and then and then Paul George crap misses those free throws. Poops out of his hand. <laughs> I felt like I was getting my taint wax. That's how much it hurt. <laughs> Get over to YouTube and Facebook. We're giving away those playoff tickets. Matt's got one more take to wear. I do. AM 570 LA Sports. Mask on. No, mask on. Log on right now and enter to win the brand new Chevy Silverado. M570LASports.com slash Chevy or just click and you could be the next big winner. We've given away eight trucks. Eight. If this is it, please let us know. If this ain't love, girl, let just say so. If this
This is, is it. it. Do what? Is that what Don said? That's those guys. They're We're such idiots. Tweeting. We're like, hey, boss, which one was worse? Oh wow, you guys are running nuts. <laughs> Did you see him look at the camera and his reaction? Oh. So we have Clippers tickets to give away. Clippers tickets to give away. So what's the question? Kate's old Kate's came up with old. Uh, this seems like said, an internet question. Though. Somebody asked me if there was more starch in Don Martin's collar or Tim Cates' all bread <laughs> diet. <laughs> <That's a great laughs> How are those dogs looking, Cates? Those are your dogs. Did they get all crooked again? No, the, not the buns, the dogs themselves. Did they get all crooked? No. Nope. Oh, Kate's got a crooked dogs. All right, are we going to ask that question then? So, Paul George. They look fine. Look, that could satisfy Works a woman. Works for me. <laughs> it's fine. Just put a Prince Albert in that thing. You It'll be what, fine. Uh, that's what, uh, you know what happened? F, you know, a little literary uh, trivia here. Uh, F, uh, F Is this Scott, for the Clippers tickets? No. Yeah. F. Scott Fitzgerald, you know, his wife was crazy and mean. And she once told him, she said, that could never satisfy anybody. Nobody. And then she died in a mental hospital. And he was out with Ernest Hemingway one night, F. F Scott Fitzgerald was, and they were drinking. And he goes, would you look at it and tell me if it's okay? Fair question. Because she said, and Ernest was like, it's okay. It looks all right. It looks like it could satisfy a woman. <laughs> Thanks, Ernest. It's okay. It's, you know, we can do this. I mean, it'll be great. All right. What high school did Paul George go to and what's its mascot? There I, you go. Uh, pandemic high. Uh -huh. And the mascot is a lemur. <laughs> Okay, that may be the answer. It may not be the answer. If you know the answer, 866-987-2570. We're going to release the hounds. And uh, What's the out, Kate? It's 54? I'll find out. We can leave right now. Bro. All right, we're out. What's the out in real life? We're almost done, everybody. But hang in there for your chance to win the Chevy. Only a few more minutes to sign up to win the brand new Chevy Silverado. AM570LASports.com, keyword Chevy. What? What's wrong? What? We good? I Do you want your skin needed? Needed? Do you need pampering? The Burke Williams Day Spa is waiting for you. Effective and fabulous for self-care. We're giving them away on the PMS Chevy Summer Tour. Stay tuned. Passes to the Burke Williams Day Spa. Not all personal injury law firms are the same. Experience counts. Results matter. If your case is important to you, Call us now for a free consultation. Live from the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank, this is Petros and Money. Hey, Petros and Money fans, Fred Rogan here. We hope you're enjoying the PMS Summer Tour. But don't forget to listen to us, Rodney Pete and myself, weekdays starting at noon right here. On AM570 LA Sports. Petros and Money. Log on right now and enter to win the brand new Chevy Silverado. Amp570LASports.com slash Chevy or just click and you could be the next big winner. We've given away eight trucks. Eight. I wish I could run over Reese with all of them. Chevy is America's fastest growing full line brand and people are taking it everywhere. Taking Trailblazer outdoors, confidently taking on new places with Equinox and taking on more with Silverado. Whatever you do, there's a perfect Chevy to take you anywhere. Find your perfect Chevy and get 0% financing for 72 months on select popular Chevy SUVs or get 10% of MSRP cash back on most 2021 Equinox models.
right now and enter to win the brand new Chevy Silverado. Amp570LASports.com slash Chevy or just click and you could be the next big winner. We've given away eight trucks. Eight. Matt, Don Martin, Dave Weiss, That's the truth. Ronnie Fascio, Tim Cates, Brian Blackmore, everybody that puts together our great Chevy Summer Tour, our guest today, Sweet James, Don McLean, Oscar De La Hoya, Don Martin, who is going to be on Cameo soon. We're setting that up now. We love you all. You still have time to sign up to win the Chevy on YouTube or Facebook. Do it right now, but we've exhausted all of our tickets, and it's time for the dead guy birthday of the day. Easy one today. One of the great poets, songwriters, in the history of rock and roll. Happy would have been 80th to Robert Christie Hunter. Primary lyricist for the Grateful Dead. Hunter wrote the lyrics for St. Stephen before the dead were even around. Before they were even the warlock. Same thing with China Cat. But we just played that the other day. You guys don't, don't know when you're going to need these lyrics. But trust me. You're going to need them. I wrote them. For songs that are not yet in existence. Born, they're just poems now. But what could they be? Born Robert Burns near San Luis Obispo, great-great-grandson of the romantic poet Robert Burns. His father deserted the family. Pretty good. Right? Comes from good stock. Pops deserted the family when Hunter was seven, and he was put into foster care for a while. Very traumatic. Said he found salvation in books, poetry. He was into it at 11. Wrote a 50-page fairy tale. When his mom remarried, they were reunited. Stepdad, Norman Hunter, hence his last name. We forgot, Robert forget Hunter. about all those years that I left you in foster care. Come on back. I couldn't provide for you, Bobby. Gave him writing lessons that his stepdad, Robert, played pretty much everything. Piano, guitar, drums. Went to Yukon, played trumpet in a band called The Crescents. Go Huskies. Made his way out to Palo Alto. Introduced to Jerry Garcia, who was 18, Hunter 19 at the time. They go, formed go Vikings. A short-lived duo called Bob and Jerry. Crappy band. They debuted at the graduation ceremony of the Quaker Peninsula School. Did not last long. Jerry left to play bluegrass. Thank you, Quaker Peninsula. Good night. <laughs> Hunter started riding around 62. Robert volunteered for the psychedelic chemical experiments at Stanford University with Ken Kesey and Ginsburg. Taking LSD, psilocybin, mescaline. When a skeptical friend said, what do you think? Hunter replied, quote, it'll be fun. I'll take my typewriter and who knows what will come out. It was the first substantial experience any of the Grateful Dead had with psychedelics. And Hunter was like, you guys are missing out. Well, I mean, you know, they, they was on the cutting edge. Creative search. He was there right at the experiments. He said one of the hallucinations he experienced during that provided the lyrics for China Cat Sunflower. 65, the Warlocks, soon to be Grateful Dead formed. Hunter, living in New Mexico, invited him, did the Grateful Dead, to join him in San Francisco as their lyricist. He agreed. First connected with them at a concert in Rio Nido. And while watching them play, he wrote the lyrics to Dark Star right there on the spot. Dark Star! He and Jerry co-wrote every song on Oaxo Moxa, which has this in China Cat. But his real contribution, most of the lyrics on the Dead's two most recognized releases, Working Man's and American Beauty. So Box of Rain, Sugar Mag, Ripple, Dire Wolf. He wrote songs with Dylan, with Elvis Costello, with Bruce Hornsby, Los Lobos, Little Feet. Really is as important as any of the members of the Dead. Uh, to their sound and popularity. Jerry, Bob, right up there with them. Married, three kids, passed away in 09 at 78. And again, the list of his lyrics is crazy. It is uh, Bernie Taupin to Elton John, essentially what Robert Hunter is to the dead. All right. Your uh, uh, happy birthday, Grateful Dead. Your alive guy birthday of the day is Becky Cloonan. No relation to George Clooney, the most deserving amongst men, even though she was born in Pisa, Italy. So a little bit of a clone dog. A little bit. Uh, but raised here in the States, uh, she went to the uh, School of Visual Arts in New York City. And her career steadily rose. Where, Matt? Comics. We love Scary Jerry's comics on PCH. Ain't that the truth. In Lamita. Uh, 
she is one of the preeminent comic book illustrators and writers on earth. She is the number three rated female comic person of all time. Number 14 on the men and women list. Gotcha. They got the two lists. They do, Matt. She's on both. She is the only woman to ever draw Batman. Is that right? They let her draw Batman. That's pretty cool. And when they let you draw Batman, well, that's like handing you the baton in Jamaica on the four by one. You better run. <laughs> uh, she's got a lot of other cool uh, graphic novels. Uh, East Coast Rising is one about punk rock pirates in a post-apocalyptic world where New Jersey and New York are submerged by water. Get behind that. Kind of like a water world thing. She's all sleeved up with tattoos, has a lot of titles. Not a great movie, but an awesome exhibit at Universal Studios. Yeah. Especially my man cows on that movie. And here he is, man cow! Her Instagram is great if you like comic book art. She looks like a Lisa Loeb of the comic books. Becky Cloonan, the best female comic book writer out there for my money. Let's go, batter up! Let's go! Taking the afternoon off. Batter up! City of Hope, physicians and researchers are relentlessly working together to turn powerful science into life-saving new cancer treatments. Learn more at cityofhope.org. Dodgers looking to avoid the sweep. My God, all the way from Florida on vacation. Daniel Jeremiah going to torture Tim Cates all night. He's been subdued because of the vacation, though. Cates is lucky. Well, it's BS. Like, you can't come on the show, but you can sit here and harass us by tweets and texts. I think when it comes to Tim Cates and how fired up he gets, the answer is an emphatic yes. It's total BS. Yes, I can. Andres. A great day watching the Dodgers all day on the uh, – well, actually, those aren't the Dodgers because they're winning. It's the Angels. And now they're losing to the Giants, and the Giants are about to win. Corrections and retractions. It's a disaster. But we can watch the Dodgers tonight or listen on the radio. Power, power. The dude on the mound tonight at Petco. 7-5, and 2-4-5 ERA taking on Joe Musgrove. You think they're going to check him? I think they're going to check both. You Two think of he's going to go like Scherzer and just whip out his whole oh, jump? Oh, yeah. Oh, Romo pulling his pants down. You want to see it? Look, I got nothing. Look at me, Danny. Look at me. I'm a homegirl, Danny. Coming up next, Dodger on deck with Tim Gates. You knew I was a homegirl, Danny. Log on right now and enter to win the brand new Chevy Silverado. Amp570LASports.com slash Chevy or just click and you could be the next big winner. We've given away eight trucks, eight.